because um oh no reason <laughs> anyway i'm not gonna say it now no. well it's so good to see you and yeah. bob's having a lot of trying trying to join again and again jeff where's the kittens you got kittens for us yeah. um so we don't have so a good. current litter but um Perhaps uh, a couple of our, our newest additions to the family might show up. Okay. So I'll go see if I can go find one of them. We'll have a cat cam on you again, as usual. <laughs> sure. Bring bring them on. We'd love to see who's new in the house. Hi, Cindy. Hey. Cindy. Hey, Jesus, how was your concert last night? Loud. So tell, Loud. Me, tell me who showed up for um, the meetup last night. Uh, yeah, it was me, Magdi. Um, nobody else did, so we oh, just the two of you guys, yeah. But why? there was, I, I don't, I don't know why, but there was a new person that showed up. His name is Ron. I explained to him what kind of skeptics we are. He agreed. I explained to him we were going to be atheists, or we weren't going to be religious people. He said he can accept that. Um, he didn't quite say he was an atheist, oh, but he, he's not that fond of organized religion. Okay, wait, pause the for just a second, Cindy. Let me see this kitty. Okay. Oh, oh my Griffin. goodness. Kitty, kitty. He's very fuzzy. Oh, no, 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 he's the newest addition to our family. He is, Who's this? He's about Thank six you. months. This is Griffin. Hi, Griffin. He's very funny <laughs> and he demands attention a lot of the time. And by demands, I mean he will come up, he will. Uh, forcibly get in your face and like and headbutt you and then like just like keep being there and he's like no it's love time <laughs> and you're like no I need to I need to type on the computer and he's like no it's love time <laughs> you're wrong <laughs> um and it's adorable and amazing and uh yeah and he has a brother who we adopted at the same time who's a uh uh maverick and he is a very he is a very rambunctious kitten um and he is uh same same colors but we we adopted them together partially because they are super attached at the hip like they will not go other places without the other one and in general and uh they are most often seen sleeping next to each other like or on top of each other and so yeah, they're they're very cute. There's nothing nothing more pure joy than bringing another animal, you know, a cat or a dog into the household. It just makes the whole mood changes in the household. Yeah, so they're, wonderful. They're very, they're very good. Cindy, so where did this guy Ron come from? He's from this area. He said he moved here from San Jose. He's living in a retirement home. But is independent living for him. He's so he's mobile and he still is able to drive. Um, he's a talker. <laughs> it's kind of like he wants to talk nonstop. And, Remember, I'm um, recording. <laughs> yeah. So, so he, he wants to talk nonstop. Well, a lot of people who kind of find our group, or I think probably for a lot of groups, especially their new new to the movement or moved to atheism or new to that whole concept they've never had anybody really to talk to about these conversations about yeah. god and yeah. trump and religion and all that stuff and they're like oh my god <laughs> no i i, I think talk. he's gonna actually be a, a talker interesting Probably no matter what the topic is he's oh. one of the people who has that excess energy and talks and uses it a lot We'll Talk. find somebody to uh, to bond with them. We'll get Lori, Lori uh, Butterworth back and put them together and they can have a good go at it. Did, did you guys sit in the front, in the front table? Yeah, I was, I was in the front. Um, I got there a few minutes before Magdi did and, and we waited around like maybe 10 minutes. Nobody showed up. So Magdi, Mag, Magdi said bye. Well, Ron had shown up by then and we asked him if he was look what he who he was looking for because he was just walking around lost like he was trying to find somebody and it was our group so i talked to ron for a little bit and then um 
I got an appetizer, which was terrible. <laughs> appetizer from the restaurant. And then, um, then I said my goodbyes to him. I said, we should have more people in December. That you will be back. You will definitely be at the December meeting. And you'll look forward to seeing them. Well, oh, very good. Good. I'm so glad you were there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's good. Brandy. Hi, Brandy. Hi. <laughs> What's going on with you? Oh, nothing much. You know, just hanging in there. Just ruling the world. <laughs> running, running out of everything. And I see Kelly, we're waiting for her to take a bite of something whenever we put some food in her face. <laughs> they're dumplings and they're delicious. Oh, well, what time is it there? Six, seven, eight, nine. You're eating at nine? Yeah. They're just a few dumplings, but I wanted to get some at the place I was at and they didn't have any left. So I had to eat some when I got home. Good. Very good. Everybody's eating. I got you, Carl. So yeah, everything else is uh, no, nothing new for anybody else. I'm, Any I'm breaking here. news? Who's watching My, the news to see the breaking news so that we can see? Somebody's got to volunteer to watch just in case something happens like uh, uh, Arizona so or Nevada. I'm, I'm uh, meeting uh, Paula Serrano and her husband with my wife in New York City on Saturday. That should be interesting. Oh, cool. How is that? Oh, How is that going to happen? How is it going to happen? Yeah, I mean, that's just hmm? weird. They're both going to go to New York City and then they'll see each other. <laughs> <laughs> Did she finally move there? Yeah, she lives in New York City now. Oh, awesome. Yeah, about two years ago, actually. It's been, I think, at least that long. Yeah. yeah. It was going to be just when the pandemic started that delayed it a little bit. Right. Yeah. She works for the UN. That is correct. Wow. She's awesome. a translator. She translates Spanish. Yep. Oh, I. My grandson lives I, there and he ran in the New York Marathon. Who? My grandson, Asher. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, well, he. I am not a jock. I don't know where he got this jock. <laughs> My daughter has it too, and um, and she's running marathons. And then she decided she didn't like running very much, so she stopped. But she flew there so that she could be there for him because this oh. was because they have run half marathons together. But uh, this was his first full on marathon, and he had his roommate and another friend and they they really they finished it they're really cool I'm so he can cross us off better. his bucket list early huh yeah think about yeah. that wendy yeah. wendy Is, yep were her arms sore well from flying Yes, you said that she's very good. tired. <laughs> Is the passcode for the Zoom for the um uh, our game two four six eight seven oh? Yes. I don't I don't use one, so I don't know. <laughs> Hi Aaron. Yes, yes, it is. Mm, now, now we just got that recorded on the oh man. Uh, oh, but but no, they'd have thanks. to be listening anyway. Hello, <laughs> hello, all you hackers out there. Welcome to come and join us. We would we would enjoy that. That might yeah, be actually kind we, of we actually just had a hacker on the last RFR meeting, which is bad because they don't have the the setting set properly. Because we we normally start with an introduction and we have a speaker for an hour, so no one's allowed to unmute themselves. But they don't have that set right in the default, so we have to always remember to go to the control to do that. And the person running the meeting forgot to do that. And in the beginning of the presentation, we had somebody come in and just curse everybody out. Aaron. I have you down for next week. Is that what I have? Is no, that what you're in? You didn't read my follow-up message. I won't be here next week, but I can do the week after. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, the last message I remember seeing from you said you needed to be early. And I said, I can make you early. Not a problem. I, I didn't so, say that. I never said I needed to be early. I, I, don't you know, I, don't, I don't know what our conversation was. But anyway, um, I'm available with a with a um set of questions um but i won't be here next week and you can put me in in whatever order you want for the week after okay so you're not expecting to do one tonight because i didn't put you in for this tonight i'm not expecting to i mean if you're short my my yeah my category is ready if you're short somebody i can jump in who are you calling short <laughs> 
Can I uh, do a category next week? Okay. Yes, you can. Okay. Put you in early. Is that all right? That would be fine. Because I know you sometimes you get a little sleepy. Yeah. Hey, Heather's joining <laughs> us. <clears throat> oh, no. Heather Henderson. Yay! Somebody, I somebody's going to... Wait, 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 wait until she's here. Oh, there she is. Hi, Heather. Hey. You're on mute. That's all right. She says, right. I just want to say hi to everybody. Yeah. Awesome hi, black Heather. Light. Uh, yeah, you got a weird light behind you. It's actually a, my headboard lights up. Alexa, set bed to blue. It's the UFO landing, that's all. <laughs> Wow. Hey Alexa, order a hundred pounds of macaroni and cheese. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Cancel. <laughs> Hi, Peggy. Oh, that's too funny. Yeah, okay, Peggy, I put you down for November 17th. Don't those don't those Alexa things have voice recognition? No, so no. you could yes, say they yes, they recognize every voice. <laughs> 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 I am always so impressed with how well my parents Alexa mm -hmm. understands my little cousins like since my little cousin was like two she'd like tell us to play songs and we're like she's never gonna get that and Alexa got it it was like 50 50 but we're we're very impressed she doesn't hear my voice very well I don't know what it is oh that's it, interesting yeah she doesn't hear me Emery can and I could be standing at the same distance saying the same thing and she'll hear him over Maybe me. you should sing it. Sing it. <laughs> we'll try that. You recognize your voice better. That'll be too fun. That would be fun. Wow. Okay. We've got a celebrity here. So I feel like a little flustered now. Hmm. Were you at <laughs> PsyCon, Heather? Oh. No, um, she no, was I, at the not. Free Thought Day with me. Yeah. Emory Emory did the, uh, um, he was the MC. He was very funny. And so I got to spend some time with Heather. Finally, I haven't seen yeah. her in 100 years. Seems like yeah. it. Oh, look, here's Paul. Hello. And his lovely wife. And her name is, wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't even, don't even go there. Wait, wait, wait. It's... Make it a trivia question. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn, that's right. Uh, I knew it's Harvey and Elle. Lynn and Paul, I'll change your names over here. <laughs> Rename Lynn and Paul. And you guys have... A visitor coming. Maybe. She's uh it's not so much later. And it's my sister. She's stopping to pick stuff up. So she may be running in and running out. But and she's not she's not likely to want to play. She might want to play. She likes she loves games, so she might want to play. Okay. But but she does have a busy schedule tomorrow. So I don't okay. know. Okay. <laughs> so good. Welcome back. We didn't scare you guys off from last week. Oh, okay. No. Be back. In fact, we made a point to make sure we came tonight to show you that you don't scare us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> are you, are you, uh, uh, what is it, Bo Bird, that woman? No. <laughs> it's, oh, it's, it's just, it's it's they just said this today. Lost. They said, you don't scare me. Please We're not. Me she lost. Did she win or lose yet? She's, it's still, it's, it's still a tie. It's yeah. still uncomfortably close. Who's got the, who's, who's got the breaking news? Who's watching it? We've been watching it, but not in the last hour. Somebody's got to have a breaking news so they can interrupt us if there's some kind of thing and, that okay, happens. Okay, so I will I tell you, know, it, you so. know, what happened at about 5 o'clock Pacific time is the Democrats picked up another seat in the House, which meant the Republicans lost the seat. So it's like 214 to 221 or something like that. Right? That House is going to, it's just, I don't. I don't know if I can handle the stress of this. I know. I know. <laughs> I mean, well, you know, they watch the Alaska it. on the Alaska Senate race because it's a uh, ranked choice. There will not yeah. be any results until the twenty third. Yeah, on but that's Republican versus Republican. Yeah, but we want right. Murkowski. We don't want. Oh, yeah. yeah, we definitely want Murkowski. Yeah. yeah. Why, why does ranked choice prevent them from having an answer for two weeks? I feel like because uh, they have to they have to know who are the lowest uh like they basically have to go through all the ballots where they had chosen somebody who was not by hand. Top. 
So they yeah. can't do this oh, with yeah. the computer. Oh, they're doing it by they're hand? By oh, hand. geez. Yeah, if it was all okay. electronic, it would be Ugh. instantaneous. But well, I'm, yeah. I'm just guessing because otherwise, yes, it's instantaneous. It's like, also, well, no, like, I mean, it's instantaneous. It's but the thing is, is that you have to be at a certain level of confidence before you can eliminate any candidates. So, yeah. like, you have to wait. Yeah, you gotta make sure you have all the clear declaration. Yeah. They, they made fun today of like, you can go into any casino in Las Vegas and and see like every kind of bet that's going on in the whole country down to the last decimal places and they take a week to vote you know for like you know for the candidates to count the vote. okay well time out time out time out when you talk about when you're talking about something that has such significance behind it as an election you cannot just throw it out into the uh uh electronic voting it's been Fine. so uh, it's so yeah. vulnerable no it's it like speaking as somebody who is both like very much a you know i'm a software developer by trade and like uh actually i've read a lot about like voting science and everything you can the only way you can do electronic voting is if you also have a paper trail you need yeah, right. yeah. You, like if you're you, worried about without the paper both, trail it's sure not agree, it's, right? it's not verifiable right. mm -hmm. right. um so you need it yeah you have to have a paper trail hello jamie yeah. I what's, did, uh, what's it like in tomorrow days before everybody gets hazy. excited about the election and they I hit that button and they're like, oh, ah! <laughs> no, it's nice. It's what's, a thank God for the, um, there's an hour change. We don't have daylight savings time. So I get so, to sleep in so extra do, hours. So. so do we survive to Friday? Okay, Not I can really. think about Bobert. No, the world won't exist tomorrow. So you're in tomorrow, so it should be fine. It'll end tomorrow, yeah. So you have today. You have a few hours left. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks a lot, Jamie. I'm, I'm so glad it was the last fallback. So glad. You are? Oh, yeah. Because we have one last spring forward, and then we're just permanently done with daylight savings time. Wait, what? It's was it that? actually signed though? I thought they, no they were still yeah. wait, wait. voting no, for it. No, that's it's... change. Is for reals? For reals? For reals? Oh come yeah. on! It's that's big news. No, nothing is certain until it actually happens. Hi Kyle. Hey, I, yeah. Thing. I, I mean, and then and then they've done this before the and it was overwritten. So I heard something on the radio. Yeah. There was some guy who was claiming that it would be better if we just stayed on Standard Time rather than staying on Daylight Savings Time. It depends. Time for help. It depends on where you live. It depends on where you the, live. The, and, the sleep National yeah. Sleep Organ Society or whatever they recommend going to Standard Time. So that, the so, that was so full of logical fallacies. I read that, Jane. <laughs> the whole thing, yeah, you know, we can't get anywhere because everybody keeps arguing about it. Just I don't have. Yeah. I don't have. Make a decision. decision. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't care which way we go as long as we stop. Yeah, yes. I am. Agree. I'm right there. All with I care about. Hi, Ben. Although, by uh, the way. Although, I do think if it's pretty stupid that now it's getting know, dark here at 4 30. You say never make yes. another change to daylight saving time ever again. Well, Leave yeah, that's what I'm saying. There, don't change it. Yeah. What? Politics, yeah. daylight savings. Both of those got you guys. The problem is, is up. Change, changes for IT are a pain in the ass for it, daylight it's, savings. It's time. somewhat random yeah. in your exchange calendar no. whether an appointment is set to UTC or local time. And whenever you change when DST is, it's a complete disaster for several years. I think we should get rid of yeah. all time zones but everywhere. Like, yeah. Let's just let's just get let's over just this. Say, Carl, Why do we have this is actually a win for science? The reason why is because meteorological towers generally report weather data in local time. And what happens is anything that does not like a lot of them don't include the time zone in it. They just assume local time, which what that means is every year you have to deal with two data points that come in at the same hour and <laughs> two data points that are all of a sudden an hour gap and where the hour go yeah. and that happens hey, every year um, I take and it, back it screws Susan, up I weather modeling stay later if you need me to not mm -hmm. a problem disaster good to see you who is that but Gail. i don't see her on the screen she's right there so yeah, I have, she's right there uh, can't you see her she's down the there same. I don't have as many tiles out there. Well, I'm in different places. On different screens, band. There you go. Hello, Gail. There's Gail. Gail, when is Richard going to show up? Is he okay? Um, I talked to him. It's very, very late at night, and I think he didn't really understand that because he's on the East Coast. <laughs> and he's you told just me. getting over COVID now. Oh, he! You told me that he was fine with it because he stays up so late. Yeah, that's what he told me. But oh, I but, think now but the this, reality is different, huh? Yeah, yeah. This, this. Especially when I'm you've telling been you, sick. get rid of all the damn time zones. We should all be on the same time, and all of <laughs> Earth should just have 
Like if we're gonna set ourselves all to the same time, who gets to pick which time that is? You know, it, <laughs> let's all let's all go to right now. It's nine o'clock here, so let's make the whole world nine p.m. Let's go to star dates and eliminate uh, <laughs> the biscuit time problem. I like it. Yeah. Okay, uh, California is not going to uh, day permanent daylight savings time yet. See, only part of the West Coast is. It's federal. There's a federal law that passed the Senate, but the House hasn't passed it, so it hasn't right. passed yet. Right. The it's federal open. law right now says that a state can choose to not go on daylight saving time. Right. A state can't choose to stay on daylight saving time. Ridiculous that we can have still having this conversation since I was a kid. Yeah. Just give me a freaking break. My God, how long is it? Yeah. We can't even make a simple decision that really is. <laughs> I mean, let's eliminate pennies. Give her to pennies. The, the problem is, oh. as simple as a decision it is, it's arbitrary. And that's the problem. Yeah. So I because say it's bring arbitrary, back because it's so arbitrary, <laughs> like there's no clear way you should go. So people have different opinions and they'll argue about it till kingdom come. Hi, Kevin. Bobert's ahead again. Oh, oh no. $3 bills and $3 a bills. tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Wow. But how much of reporting is it? Because it was like like to like a thousand or how many votes? Yeah, it's ninety eight percent. Yeah, it's a, it just says greater than ninety five percent on New York Times, and it's just over a thousand votes ahead. Who is? Oh my God, Clover, oh. right? Uh, who would yeah, vote for that? Same thing on no. the as of four o'clock. Green, green one again. Four o'clock. Where? Well, well, yeah, she yeah. won sizably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nobody's running practically against her. Caspian, are you there with Jamie? Yes. Yes. Yay! Good mm. job. I'm glad you're both there. It makes me feel good. Good, good. Oh, so Canada got rid of their pennies. Did you know that? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Don't go for it, you guys. Don't encourage him. Don't encourage what? What are you oh. going to say? No, Canada got rid of their pennies. Uh -huh. and, That's true. And, yeah. and, I don't get the punchline. Oh, <laughs> We're waiting for it. <laughs> there's no punchline. Uh -huh, sure, it's going to happen any moment now. Uh, is he? Well, Billy Joel got rid of it. He no, no, he's just bragging. Yeah, put your two cents in when you know when to leave it alone. Oh, my God. I was thinking of you yesterday, Kevin. I was watching uh, an episode of The Crown. Oh, and do you, do you know about the, I never heard about this where where Princess Diana gets on stage at the opera and dances to Billy Joel's Uptown Girl? Oh, he she does like oh my god and and yeah. tr and her husband. I thought they were making that shit up, and then I googled it. No, this really happened. There yeah, I remember little, seeing oh this because everybody really, loves Christy Brinkley. That's why. And he was so embarrassed, Prince Charles, because yeah. I guess she looked. Well, the way they presented it in the Crown, which which according to Richard, I've asked him about several things. They just keep making stuff up. So I, but this you know, is not personal, made up. Personal conversation. No, I'm talking about a personal conversation between him and her in the cab. Who knows what was said? But he, you embarrassed me for the last time. You know, this well, is supposed to be about me. Well, yeah. it, I, I remember looking up the video of it really happening, and it's yeah, it really happened. But the question dancing is dancing with the, the stars. Uh, not so, so yeah. So also in that in that same article, that Prince Charles says he is not going to watch this in last season of of this crap. No, no, King Charles. Yeah. King, King Charles. Charles. Sorry. Right. King Charles. We're out of that print stuff. That's psh, we're out of that. Being presumptive. Yeah, now there's another Prince of Wales, right? I never get that. Oh, I gotta oh that's right. I was gonna watch that. I could have done that today. Hi, Deborah. Are you here now? I'll make the groups if you guys are all here. Is everybody here? Wait a minute. Where's Heather? Everybody oh, here. No. No, no, people are here. Oh, oh Heather's right there in the middle of the here? screen. I'm here. I see her. Hey Heather. Hello. Oh, there Hello. you are. Yeah. She's there. Coil. Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, Susan, I'll I'll be probably heading out after round two. I got up at like four in the morning, so. Okay, not a problem. I will find somebody to replace. Not a not a problem. No yeah. problemo. No problemo. Okay, here we go. Well, you know. I make no promises about staying the whole time either. So probably. Okay. Hopefully we'll have some more people join in that. If not, we'll just have like a team of one person. No, no. that never happens. Okay. Bring it on. Almost Bring it on. on. Bob's like, where's the chickens, Bob? Huh? Oh, there they are. There's one. Okay, I see one. Okay, so I have at this moment, Rob, leaving. What? what? You're in room one. 
right? Caspian, you're in room two, correct? You would know. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> can't see the breakout room. You, you're Caspian, like, you tell me. You're doing a category it. tonight. Cindy, you're doing three. Mm -hmm. And Gail, you are four. Uh, let me move you to four. And Carl, I have you doing bonus. Yes. Okay. Carl, where are you? Oh, there you are. You're in room one. Let's make you go away. Okay, let me look and make sure that I have not got anything really weird. Do, 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 do. I'll be, I'll probably be the only Canadian here tonight because there's a book club happening right now. Well, then they show up later. Uh, yeah. That well, might be important later. All of Canada does book club. Is it considering the size of the country? <laughs> it's like voting. I think they only have the population of Florida, basically. In all is voting compulsory too? In Canada? No. Well, it is in Australia. No, it is not it, here. No. It also is in I know that it is Deborah. in Norway. Hi, Wendy. It is not <laughs> compulsory. How do you know this is not my trivia category, people? Oh, uh, I've already oh, forgotten it. Oh. It used to be compulsory in uh, Romania when they uh, under Ceausescu. Uh, of course, you only had one candidate. Keep talking. <laughs> give all the answers out. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, let me just make sure I don't have anybody. Where it is or has voted been compulsory? There we go. <laughs> I don't want to make. I don't want to make a team of everybody who's leaving except for Bob. <laughs> I think it'd be hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I leave. Okay. You're right now. I leave at nine. So okay. I was going to try this daylight saving time. Canadian pennies, and you guys screwed it up. <laughs> it gets so confusing no when I'm looking at this. Like, okay, who's leaving early? Who's not leaving early? Okay, I think I got. I, I'm closing my eyes and just hitting open all the <laughs> I'm going to oh, try to stay for the entire night. So. All right, Ooh. you can do yeah, this, I Vincent. Want. We'll just we'll just keep throwing things at you or something like that to say, wake up, wake up, go to your rooms, be nice, play good, wear your mask. Well, I don't think you have to. Okay, Peggy, I got you. Pause the video. Recording in progress. Made my little list of things to talk about. Bring the break. Da -da -da -da. And there they come, walking down the street, get the funniest looks from everyone we meet. Hey, hey, we're the monkey. They're back. They're back. They're back. <laughs> I'm just so happy to be around people again. I've been in my garden. My cats, I've thrown them out. They're not allowed in here anymore. Oh, well, they somebody keeps peeing on oh, my carpet, yeah. <laughs> and I'm not That's sure old. which Mark, of the two. Mark, welcome is. back to the <laughs> main room. Raccoons. Raccoons. <laughs> hey, everybody, they're just, oh, loving to pieces, but my god, I was like, you need to have a talk with Mark. <laughs> it's the damn raccoons no nope, no raccoons no raccoons can't can't be the raccoons we're, we're process of elimination and they seem so innocent you know so That's kyle yes kyle yeah apparently we're being recorded so just thought i'd let you know appreciate it yeah two-sided consent is important Okay, yeah. so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make Kyle the co-host since he just spoke up. Thank you, Kyle. Sure. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. That's it. We All right. look into that. <laughs> Rob, Robert, where are you? Here. Okay, there you are. Why is it you guys rearrange yourselves? We like to do that just to screw with you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's or if I screen in, in one fact, place. It's, it's a little known fact. Zoom didn't do that. It kept everything in a static place until we asked so we could do it just to screw with you. Oh, you guys are just so yeah, powerful. Yeah. Huh? Most powerful people in the on. Uh, well, we oh, we, you know, enough of us threatened to mess with Zoom's Wikipedia page, so so they. Did. <laughs> <laughs> now that well, you suppose that will that work with Elon? I wonder. Can we threaten him? <laughs> Hi, Deborah. 
Hey, see you. Uh, <laughs> see you too. Oh my gosh. I like Cindy had to hold nine up, people. Cindy had to hold up the the meetup yesterday almost by herself. You should. Aw. Poor thing. Well, Mag Maggie showed up. Well, but he's I, very I knew quiet. Showed up. He's very quiet. He I is. like it when there's only nine people. We can play Hollywood Squares or the Brady Bunch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. So let's get you guys together. We're, we're going to move along, moving along. So we've got tonight uh, five teams that are some of you guys. And I noticed some of the brand new people have never been with some brand people of these other people before. I was just checking that out. I'm mixing it up, you know, like a big pot. I'm just stirring it up here. So it makes it much more fun when we do these kinds of things and forces everybody to force you to socialize and meet new people. Because that's just the kind of gal I am. So anyway, <laughs> here we are on the 10th mm. of November. And this was going, to, in my old days, when I was working full time, this tomorrow would be the first real stressful day of the year. It was like Veterans Day, terrifying, especially when it happened on a Monday or a Friday, because it was like Christmas, the day after, day after Thanksgiving. It was insane just insane world and so now i'm like tomorrow's veterans day oh whatever <laughs> it's so great <laughs> so we have five teams so let's get the team names team number one who shall no longer be named team number one and of course unless they name themselves team number one is heather who is joining us i know so good to see you james kyle rob wendy and i've just added janine hello janine is on a world tour of all the parks in the world <laughs> it seems like who are you guys going to be tonight we are schrodinger's red wave <laughs> good <clears throat> schrodinger's red wave yeah that's true kind of yeah we don't really know well, yeah simultaneously there and not there well we well we know now it didn't happen but we didn't know because the polls kept saying oh, it was still going to happen yeah that's true that's true okay so I think it's Kelly who's mainly watching these uh, the breaking news. So if something happens, it's serious, Kelly. Put your little hand up on your screen, a yellow thing or whatever color it is. I mean, there. I'm only going to have anything if I get a CNN alert. Okay, yeah, yeah. We don't want to be interrupted for just anything. Just make it sure it's something good. Okay. okay. And, All right. And start with this just in. This just in. <laughs> you have to do this, it. All right, actually, just actually, this just in. ABC News. A federal judge has blocked President Biden's student loan forgiveness policy. Yeah, I saw that. That's, that's okay. Breaking news must be good. All right. <laughs> if it's bad oh, news, just put oh. off until after. Because I don't. I don't. I mean, it's enough already. I'm. I'm enough. If, if Bobart loses, breaking news. Okay. Bobart's ahead. No, that's not breaking news. <laughs> Next, we have Ben. Deborah, Jamie, the other Jamie, and Caspian, and Jane, the one that's up in Oregon, and Terry. We're at the broke ass twit of the year. Broke ass twit of the year. <laughs> God, I've been watching that. That's just, it's just, just insane. Okay, Bob, Brandy, Cindy, Jamie in Thailand, and Ron, who just joined us. Hi, Ron. Um, where will Dr. Oz pretend to live next? <laughs> <laughs> Under a rock, I hope. <laughs> Bill, Jeff, Kelly, Lynn, Paul, Peggy, who are you guys going to be tonight? Um, we are uh, Red Divorce. Red Divorce. Mm. Is that because uh, Trump just threw Melania under the bus? For for supporting her, uh, telling him to support her. Support. Well, it's also in contrast to the red wedding. Doctor Oz. It was for Doctor Oz. Oh, I was going to say red wedding. Yeah. By the way, by the way, Jamie, I, I did hear that Doctor Oz now says he's Taiwanese. He's going to run for the president over there. So <laughs> <laughs> great news. That's yeah. really news. I love that. Okay, Carolyn, Karen, Carl, Kevin, and Vincent. Who are you guys playing? Now, now, before we give our name. We have stayed away from all of the politics. Go ahead. Okay. Um, we are called High School Sweaty Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw that too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, you guys are mean. I don't know what that is. 
that was a I, post I made. I, figures Aaron would do that. So I made a post on on Facebook about my my doctor, my OBGYN. Oh, <laughs> I saw like that. Forever. He was my OBGYN. Very nice man. Did not deliver Caspian because Caspian decided to show up at a time that he was not, my doctor was not on call, but he's been there for everything else. And I wrote, I wrote on my phone with like one finger. I wrote that my doctor, Dr. Ross had married his high school sweaty heart. <laughs> <laughs> and Aaron pointed it out and I said, I'm not editing that. That's, no. that. I'll leave it there. Thank you, Aaron, for, for mobilizing. Sounds a little scandalous this way. It sounds yeah. like you're a little jealous. And it's true. High school sweaty hearts. I think that's. <laughs> they are sometimes. High school, high school. High school yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we, have, we have five teams. Game number one. Hundred and thirty three. Cien tre, uh, treinta y tres. All right. Season three, episode twenty four. This on the day before Veterans Day on uh, November tenth, twenty twenty two. We have five teams, and the five teams at this moment we don't know who is going to be the winner, but one winner will be here tonight, or maybe it'll be a tie or something because we don't break our ties. We have. Schrodinger's Red Wave versus Broke Ass Twit of the Year versus Where Will Dr. Oz Pretend to Live Next versus Red Divorce versus High School Sweaty Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are something else, you know? I just crack me up all the time. Okay, <clears throat> before we start, I do, I'm going to put this link in here and I'm going to probably do this for the rest of our lives for the entire lives we ever have again. And that is the link to the article that just came out. Um, it came out the day after Skeptical Trivia uh, trivia last week. And I'm going to make sure everybody has this. And if you go to Skeptical Inquire, you can put in Susan Gerbeck as authors or whatever, skepticalinquire.org. And you can get the article I wrote about you all. I didn't do, I didn't go into great detail and name names or anything like that because I thought I would just be crazy. But there are some little red, little bit of nuggets in there. You'll know exactly who I'm talking about. But anyway, so I hope you appreciate this article for those of you who have not read it. And it's kind of, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, there it is. And that's the picture we took at Cyclon. Yeah. So um, the Wendy's holding up there. That's so anyway, the one where fun. right, right before Romero almost killed himself. Oh my goodness! Yeah. <laughs> I was clueless. I was sitting in my, I was sitting at the table, which is a long ways away from this area, and I told everybody, text me when everybody's sitting down. I will run down, sit down, have my picture taken, and then run out back to my table. And that's how it works. So I didn't see nothing, hardly at all. And it was fun. At the end of the article that I just put in there, you will see there is a link to a spreadsheet and it has a bunch of questions from past trivia we've done. It has all the categories in there and it has some of the team names in there as well. And it's so much fun looking at the, oh, oh, I forgot. I put up, a. Um, uh, there's another link in there to all the, the, the photos we've taken over the years. Years, gosh, we're in third year, so yeah. So I'm ready to start. You guys ready to start? So Gorilla Skeptics, Gorilla Skeptics was mentioned in a podcast that I listened to called The Scathing yeah. Atheist. And they mentioned uh, you. Mm -hmm. I was going to mention that today too, yeah. Bob, Bob sent me the message. And it was kind of funny the way they did it. Bob, can you say how he said it? They were talking about... This uh, Wikipedia, Wikipedia page that needed editing, and she said Susan and the Girl of Skeptics should get on that. Didn't say Susan Gerbic, but Susan and the Girl of Skeptics should so, look into that. Susan and, uh, was the same said, guy from Citation Needed that he like made yeah, the no, same no illusions about a while ago. So Susan, I, I you're like the Jane went, Goodall. I know her of the gorillas right jane goodall susan goodall. <laughs> the gorillas. susan of the gorilla skeptic so if somebody has the link to and i was hoping somebody would have this maybe rob will do it um i'd like somebody to find the scathing atheist not the interview i gave which was on spontaneous human combustion would you believe it or not um i mean if you find that that'd be great 
But there is an episode that came out in 2018, right after, it must have been like February or March of 2018, when the New York Times did the article on uh, on my sting, Operation Pizza Roll. And the scathing atheist just ripped into the the what happened. It was hilarious. And I'd like to listen to it again. And I think maybe you guys would get a kick out of listening to them. I was I an interview. They were just talking about it. it was, they just were hilarious. So somebody finds that, put it in the chat. But let's get started. Uh, let's get the party. Okay, ready for the first category? Party, party started. Kyle, you're in charge. Do I have powers? All right. Of I course you have powers. Do. Okay, so I've been watching uh, The Crown, which of course is all about really Queen Elizabeth II. And so queens are on my mind. So we're going to do something about <laughs> queen, queens here, except it's going to be queens of music. Queens of music? All right, muting all. Oh. Okay, so uh, I am going to give you the honorific nickname or nicknames and you will answer with someone who has been called this in the media question number one queen of disco and there are three possibilities i will take queen of latin pop there are two possibilities Queen of folk, two possibilities. Number four, my all time favorite, Queen of Christian pop. Number five is Queen of K pop. Question number six, Queen of New Age. Number seven, the British Queen of Soul. I have no idea why there's an extra space there. Number eight, Queen of Pop, Princess of Pop, and Mother Monster. Number nine, Queen of Pop, Queen of Reinvention, and Queen of Controversy. So as you'll see in, in eight and nine, like the first one is queen of pop. So you can't have the same person because it's it's all of those th three things in each case apply to this one person. Even though like say queen of pop might've been multiple people. And finally, queen of Halloween, princess of pop, pop diva supreme. We got team names all set up for the next one. Yeah, you do. There you go. This is right. really clever, very clever, very clever, Rob. I never heard of anybody doing this one. This is a really good idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go to your rooms. Good luck. Heather, you know what that? I know the first one, and I'm sure Heather does too. <laughs> My guess is Gloria Gaynor. Gloria I was thinking Alden. Donna Summer. I was thinking Donna, Donna, Donna Summer. Donna Summer Donna is a better one, yeah. Summers. Donna Summers. Is it Summers or Summer? Donna Summer. Summer. Yeah. She's Although Gloria Gaynor is a good uh, alternative. Never heard of her. He's what? Not... What about um? Oh. Huh? Keep, keep talking. I'm thinking. So I don't know any of these others. This is Heather's. Ooh. Well, we can come back to it. Queen of Latin pop. Um, Shakira. Selena. Huh? Selena. Selena. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's right. The one that died, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh. And the queen of folk, I don't even have a guess. Linda Ronstadt, I'm thinking. Is she or folk? Or John Baez. Who I think. John uh, Baez or? Uh, yeah, I would say John Baez. Yeah. Up a parking lot. Oh, Joni Mitchell. Joni Mitchell. Oh, Joni Mitchell, yeah. Well, there's that? two possibilities, so it could be both. I mean, one or the other. Which right. do you guys think? I'm Actually, leaning more towards Joan Baez. I do, too. I mean, those are all three good possibilities. Let's come back. Hey, Christian Pop, I know you guys all know this one. <laughs> <laughs> 
I not actually even ironically. Do know of one, you do? Uh, yeah. She sang a song called Sharia. She was really, really popular in the 80s and 90s. And then she got out of Christian rock. And her name is... Um, oh God. It'll come to me when it's freaking too late, too. <laughs> It'll come to you. Okay, so move on while she's thinking. Yeah. New Age. Queen. Oh, what about the Queen of K-pop? Oh, you know that one? He's like, let's not skip K-pop. Number six. <laughs> Queen of New Age. My guess is Debbie Harry. New Age? Really? Oh, I guess I was thinking New Wave. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what New Age is. I picture like a creepy guy playing the flute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking Sylvia Brown, but I don't think she could sing. She croaks. Or she croaked. She did croak. <laughs> hey. British Queen of Soul. British Queen of British Soul. British Queen of Soul, though. Yeah, that's the, the trick there. Number eight, Queen of Pop, Princess of Pop, and Mon Mother Monster. Mother Monster? Is it Elvira? Oh, so I was thinking, but she, I don't know. I was thinking think. Elvira. But she didn't do pop, did she? She never sang. She wasn't a singer. Yeah, I don't think Elvira sang. Okay. Mother okay. Monster. Christian Rock. Amy Grant. Amy, Amy Grant. Grant. All Amy right. Grant. We'll probably be the only one that knows this. Any relationship <laughs> to Eddie Grant, the Electric Avenue nope. guy? <laughs> no. I was going to think... Uh, I. Uh, Think of what the uh, Osmond, the, the female Osmond, but. Oh, oh. Yeah. Marie. Marie Osmond, yeah. Would she qualify as Christian rock singer? No, I think she's more country, wasn't she? Like a little bit country, a little bit rock yeah. and roll. Yeah. Okay. She was a country wing. But Usually, I don't, I don't... if you're Christian, you're all in. Yeah. New age? Well, wow. All right. So, nine, I think, is Taylor Swift. Why is she the queen of controversy? Queen of controversy? Would it be Lady Gaga? Maybe. You want to put that? But the reinvention thing. Like, oh, Madonna. Disney pop Madonna, star that went. yeah. Madonna. Oh, my God. I got one right. You guys agree with me? Yeah, Madonna, hands down. No question. She was the one who definitely reinvented herself like every right. couple of years. So was she the queen of controversy? She kind of was, because when she first came out, she was walking around in lingerie and didn't shave her underarms. I mean, yeah, she and was she's kinda, also yeah, like, very fits. supportive of the uh, the LBGTQ. Oh, yeah. Maybe yeah. at the beginning when it was still. And okay. she just came out as lesbian, although it's, uh, a lot of people are thinking, well, this is like well, her, her um, um, kind of um, way of just keeping her name out there that it yeah i've heard that too she's like oh people aren't paying attention to me i'm gonna i'm gonna come out as right. lesbian and yeah. everybody's like yeah whatever mm -hmm. <laughs> could um number seven be adele <gasps> yeah i think you might be right i remember that from the cartoon sing right mm -hmm. isn't that the one that the character that's like a giraffe and it sings and it's beautiful and it just you, you know which one we're talking. No, you guys don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, just I, humor I, me, all right? I'll say okay. But Adele is like it's it's they're playing off of Adele, and I think it was a British character, and I think oh. she's a giraffe or a llama. Ten. <laughs> Zoo Zootopia. I think it's in Zootopia. I haven't seen that either. Oh, that's so good. All right. Well, Queen of Halloween, Princess of the Pop, Pop Diva Supreme. Halloween. No idea. See, the last three, there's at least one of them that throws me off. If you left out Queen of Halloween, I feel like I could get it, but nothing fits all three of those to me. Right. What is the one that's a Queen of Halloween to you? Like Queen of Halloween could have been Elvira or right. like, you know, uh, Evanescence or somebody like that, but. Not the pop diva supreme at the same time. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, okay, Paula. Oh, I know who it is. Who is it? I know who it is, I think. Well, I mean, who was that woman who showed up, who throws a huge costume party every year? And she always shows up as something really strange. And this year she showed up as like a, like an earthworm or some crazy, like. What? <laughs> yeah. Her worm on the. Um, the worm. Yeah. It was like she a- always shows up as something bizarre and no one recognizes her until she's like, hey, it's me, guys. You know, and she's like, it's a crazy <laughs> Does she have job the- about thing. Bjork? Full makeup, full body, like the whole nine. And I can't. Um, and she's, I think she's an actress, though, not a singer. That's the only problem. Does she sing as an earthworm? Mm. <laughs> no, it doesn't ring a bell. Queen of Halloween. And it's a- Yeah, I can't think of a like a woman who tries to own Halloween per se. Or even a man really, but hmm. Yeah. Okay. Who is the singer that she it's a mono mononym her her first her name is just one name and she married a man much older than her she was very popular and then her husband died um this is a good category wendy (laughs) i couldn't remember i'm hoping she's gonna just say the right thing that's gonna go oh um cindy lopper well, she's not a modern, but mm. she was super popular for a while. Um, I was thinking of Heidi Klum. Was it, didn't she marry Tiger Woods? No, uh, I don't know. She, she showed up. She Heidi showed Klum up. Seal. What? No. What'd you say? Heidi Klum married Seal, but she wasn't a singer. She was a model. Right. right. You sang. She showed up. She showed up as an earthworm to her. Please tell me I didn't sick my team. Uh, oh, well, I don't know. We'll if you're that on earthworms, Janine knew them all. <laughs> wow, she's, I'm she impressed. She's amazing. I, she even sang some tunes to us. You can't wow. wait to go back and listen to this part of the audio. <laughs> Janine's like, she's got, she's got them all. She was visiting the hometowns of all these women. On her <laughs> Actually, yeah, I was researching them. How many are we missing still? Four. <laughs> oh, okay. no. So who's the K-pop? Can anybody name anybody who's female in K-pop? No. That means the Indians, right? In for India, right? K-pop? No, South Korea. Oh, South Korea. Okay. Who... The only one I know from uh, South Korea is... Uh, BTS. Yeah. Huh? BTS. Yeah, and they're they're yeah, not yeah. female. You know who I've known. Check from- maybe one of them did you know did the thing. <laughs> but are you going to know the name? Um, uh, uh, Captain Disillusion did a video recently with a bunch of K-pop young women, and it was hilarious. He was he shot he showed how they made videos, and there was this whole group of these women that are um, K-pop. Well, they weren't super. It's super- a lot of work. Oh yeah, I was like, oh my god. And, the, and, you know, they're all, they, you know, when you watch a, da- a video of them all dancing, which you don't realize is they're, they're dancing for a minute and or not even a minute, 30 seconds. And they're all like, <sighs> they turn up the cameras and they start up again, you know, but. Um, okay. I, think I have no idea. Eight is, is Lady Gaga. All right. Only because of the, uh, one of the names is Mother Monster. And doesn't she call her fans the little monsters? Sounds good to me. Okay, so and then nine. What did we land on? Madonna. 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 Hands down. Okay. Queen of New Age, you guys. <laughs> Ten. Sylvia Brown. So we need <laughs> five, six, and eight. Thirty-five eight. seconds. Five, I six, and eight. Ten. I need five, six, yeah. and ten. No, we just said ten was Lady Gaga, right? No, no, no. Eight. no. Eight oh, I thought that was Mother Monster. Eight. I could be wrong. That was eight. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, geez. Okay. Just put what's her name for ten. Elvira. Sure. Elvira. Well, good job, you guys. Uh, I think we did really uh, well. Thank you, Heather, for knowing these. <laughs> five and six. Did we this have is your category. It just happened. This meeting is being recorded. Wow. Is it really?
Rob, this Rob, you're going to be changed. thinking Heather because what? If, what? if you're if 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 it happens, what I think you're going to be grateful to Heather being on your team. Just it's uh, Janine's Janine's computer that did that. That yeah. worked for me. You, you've been replaced, Vincent. Just so you know, I, know. I mean, yes. you're out of a job. I'm sorry. It's to tell other you person no, using their job to an automated system. A much oh, more yeah. That's okay. <laughs> but but until until somebody Zoom starts automatically doing bad jokes. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I yeah, you guys, you're not. I'm, I'm sure we can find a program that does that. But Place anyway, that was a fun vision. category, very fun category. I'm glad fun. you liked it. Okay, so let's go through them. I, I will just say them first, and then I'll put the answers all in the chat at the end. So, Queen of Disco. Uh, three possibilities are Gloria Gaynor, Donna Summer, or Sylvester, a drag queen. Oh, oh interesting. Well, Donna Summers wins hands down. That's what I thought. Yeah, uh, Bob. Bob is in the waiting, waiting room. Why is Bob in the waiting room? What's that about? I just put waiting. him in. Did he bounce out? Hit the he wrong does button. That. He does that with his computer sometimes. Ah, okay. Number two, uh, Queen of Latin Pop. That is either Gloria Estefan or Shakira. Oh, oh. I had them both. I, I told Shakira. you it was Shakira. All right. Okay. Number three, Queen of Folk. Two possibilities: Joan Baez. Yes. Or someone whose name I cannot pronounce properly, but I'll try it. Vinja Mori Anasuya Devi. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Can anybody get that one? Joan Baez. <laughs> I spelled it correctly and everything. Look, it's Joan Baez, yeah. Queen of Christian Pop. I even have this person on my rotation because she sings a song about Galileo and it's fantastic. Amy Grant. Yeah, Yay, Heather! Good job. Ooh, 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 ooh. Baby, baby. Yeah, Queen of K-pop is Boa, whose name is Quan Boa. B O A. Anybody who had that? that? Who had uh, that? We you want to see a hand up. up. Nobody had it. Yeah. No. Strike no. that question from the record. <laughs> <laughs> Queen of New Age is Anya. Sylvia Brown. Sylvia Brown. <laughs> <laughs> from the dead i heard that okay. the dead in new age british queen of soul is wait wait, wait. who is new age it's enya enya, enya. enya. Yeah. who enya, enya. Yeah. Yeah. what word are you saying sail away sail away sail away you've like never Kanye heard of enya with an n in front of it sail away. Where have you been, i couldn't remember her name but i knew who it was yeah. what does she do for new age i mean how do you sing new age is she just like oh it's all kind of spiritual. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. 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 Pretty pretty much. Heard her song, seriously seven. you can make money seven. at that google number, it I number, have seven. Seven. Uh, number seven is a deal who's actually name adele lori we rejected was her. she? Hey, oh, you guys remember? Was Adele in Zootopia as the giraffe or a llama? That was Shakira. Shakira I thought it was Adele. Shakira was a gazelle. Shakira she was a gazelle. Was, was a gazelle. <laughs> Number eight. Gazelle. Thank you no. for backing me up on that. At least Number eight. I'm Number eight. Something. Number eight. Three yeah. names: Queen of Pop, Princess of Pop, and Mother Monster. I'm surprised people didn't know the Mother Monster. That's Lady Gaga. Yep. Yay! Yes. Yes. Wendy got that one. Monarch, it's quote: She's the matriarch for millions of little monsters, capitalized all over the world. I was. Those very, are her fans. Uh, and number nine: Queen of Pop, great. Queen of Reinvention, Queen of Controversy. I think most people got Madonna. Yay! Yay! And I don't know that anybody got number 10. Queen of Halloween, Princess of Pop, Pop Diva Supreme is Ariana Grande. What? Halloween? Is she well, in down. I don't know if we decided on that. We went Wait, back and is forth. She no, we didn't go with that. We no, we didn't. We went with we had, that, we had that name initially, but we... Okay, so we did poorly. We had kimchi for number five. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the what's the Halloween connection? I I didn't look it up. I'm not aware. Is she an earthworm? Does she do she good costumes be. every Halloween? Where, where, where are you getting it? 
So if you, if you guys want to look up here, here is, in fact, the uh, where I got all this information. Wikipedia, of course, honorific nicknames in popular music. Yeah. Oh, very good. I mean, we honestly thought uh, the queen of K-pop was one of the members of BTS. But, <laughs> you know, because that's how them. big they are. They're yeah, so yeah, big. They just kind right. of. That's right. Uh, we were the same way, but we thought we couldn't even name one of them. Yeah. Yeah. It wouldn't have helped. Yeah, we had the same problem. <laughs> Did you guys remember the doctor? No, Captain Disillusion did a, a video using K-pop. Yes, yes, that was a recent one. Yeah, that was. Yeah, cool. and I couldn't remember them anyway, but not that that would have helped because they're also a group, like a girl, girl band group or something. Boy band. No, I just read a whole Time article on Boa, except that I couldn't remember her name. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh. Too, too many letters, I guess. I don't know. Well, this was a really good category. Very good. I. It was really good. Yeah, it was so really. You good. liked it. Yeah, yeah. It, occur it occurred to me actually, as some things do, just randomly. I was driving home and someone said something about the Queen of Pop. Da, 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 da. Oh, hmm, interesting. I didn't know that's what she was. Yeah. Then I hey, looked it hey, up. Rob, and it was a Wikipedia article. That that link in Wikipedia, I don't see anything about Halloween in there. For Ariana Grande? I don't see anything in the entire article about Halloween. I wonder if someone changed it because that could happen in Wikipedia. Yeah. yeah I, did, no. I, did, I did this <laughs> months ago. <laughs> Interesting. Did you yeah, I looked up Queen of Halloween after, and it came up with the actress who was in uh, the Adams Family or something. Uh, citation oh. number six 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 has the word Halloween in it. No real treat. Monica highlights otherwise dreary Halloween bash. Chicago Tribune. We went with uh, Bette Midler because of the Hocus Pocus movie. Ah. <laughs> oh, we went with Cher. Good. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> All right, let's do our let's do our scores. Right. Very good. All right, so team number, let's go with high school sweaty hearts. I have seven. Seven, seven for the sweaty hearts. Okay, where will Doctor oh, yeah. Oz? Seven. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Seven. Okay. Seven. It is where, seven. Yeah. Where will Doctor Oz pretend to live next? Seven. Oh. Broke ass twit of the year. Six. Okay. Red divorce. Five. Wow. And did Rob tank his own group with Schrodinger's no. Red Wave? No. Six. Whoa. Okay. So average score of 6.2. Pretty good. We've got two teams in the lead. It's all. Everybody okay, so, so I just I just Googled it and I found an article which I just pasted in five times. Ariana Grande proved she's the queen of Halloween. Yeah. Okay, even if it's not currently in the Wikipedia article. There you go. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it'd be Sounds sorry. like Rob has some work to do after oh, what, what, tonight's what, show. what was the range of scores again? You've got a seven, seven, a seven, a six, a five, and a six. That's the range of scores. The second team reported a seven because Vincent reported a seven. He's not on that team. I have. Did you show the, show the screen? Make sure this is right. No, she said sweaty. Yeah, that was the first yeah. team. And then the second team rigged it okay, up. So oh, sweaty oh, yeah. is seven. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's yeah, good that's then. Fine. As long as somebody else can. Right. Is Aaron and we're Vincent close. were talking. I'm sorry. No, but that's <laughs> correct. Because Aaron said, I think seven, and Vincent said it is seven. I'm paying attention. <laughs> Okay. Believe it or not, we're good. I can do this. We're all good. I've done this a hundred and well, not a not a whole hundred and thirty three times. This is a few times she can do this in her sleep. A hundred and twenty nine. I am asleep right now. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we are all set. Guess who's next? It's Caspian, or some people call him Casapian. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> what? Only one person's ever called him Casapian. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Caspian. Just don't call him Copernicus. I'll answer oh. to Copernicus. <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> All right, uh, tonight's category, I'm actually surprised that I don't think we've ever done this, is Ukraine. Oh, oh dear. Uh oh. Maybe it was only a matter of time before Caspian did this category. I think we did I'm do. I think we did countries that were bordering it. I think we did do that. Yeah. 
I believe that sounds about right, but we have yeah. not done 10 questions on no. the country. Wait, earthquake. No. We're having an earthquake. You're having yeah. an earthquake. All right. Not here. Susan's just trying to get out of this category. No, no, no. I just felt it. <laughs> Kyle's look, having look, I have an earthquake too. Look. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Kyle, Kyle, do it. Cindy? I don't feel anything. No. Deborah? I'm going to go to the U.S. Geological here? Survey and see where the episode yeah, is. Nothing here, but you might be closer. Nothing's, nothing's moving, but I felt the wall you... and the wall behind me. And the... Mark, Ooh. did you feel an earthquake? Mark's going to go for it in the next room. Mark? Susan, did you just have too much to drink tonight or what? Mark's yeah. busy with a girl in the next room. Those <laughs> <laughs> burritos yeah, it's at dinner. Ariadne oh. and, and Imogen. The girls. Wow, that was weird. Okay. You remember remember when we were doing the Australian Psychic Prediction Project and there was one in uh, right where Michelle Bickismore was in Australia? I wasn't in the call one. at that moment, but I remember Oh, that. yeah, it was a big one. That wow, was weird. Mark! Okay, go ahead. Mark, did you feel an earthquake? What? Did you just feel an earthquake? No. It's just not later. on the map. Apparently it was just me. Did you okay. maybe have just a feature? room? Are you sure Taco Bell? Chair didn't so much Taco Bell, Susan. No, I'm telling you, I felt, the, I heard the walls and the walls and the walls. Uh -huh. What does any of this have to do with you? It was the rats and the walls. It was just a delaying tactic while Susan looks up a whole bunch of information in Ukraine. The raccoons. <laughs> Go ahead, Caspian. Okay, question one. How many you... countries in Europe are larger by land area than Ukraine? Oh. All right, we're not muted. In your work, One second. Okay. We're not muted. Working on it. All right, muting all now. Question two. Once I can actually see it. What major river roughly bisects Ukraine from north to south? And that's roughly. Question three. The capital and largest city of Ukraine is Kiev. What is the second largest city and a former capital? Question four. Name this traditional soup uh, made of beets, cabbage, and mushrooms or meat. There's a typo there. Question five, Vladimir Zelensky is the current president of Ukraine. How many presidents has Ukraine had? Plus or minus? Six. <laughs> plus or minus 10. Six. Yeah, there's no plus or minus on that. Question six, as of 2021, what is the largest sector of the Ukrainian economy? Question seven. If you are creating Pisanki, what are you doing? Now, note that the general concept is not unique to Ukraine and has been practiced by people worldwide for millennia, but in many Western cultures, it's become identified with a prominent Christian holiday. Question eight, what is the most popular sport in Ukraine? Pickleball? <laughs> Question or nine. The it is potato. <laughs> Major protests broke out in Ukraine in late 2013. By what word has have those protests become known? And question 10. If you are following the news of the war in Ukraine, you can see how important rivers are to the progress of the war. What river is largely defining the nature of the conflict in eastern Ukraine? So just, just letting you all know that sometimes on Social Trivia by Susan, we are here to learn. <laughs> all of my categories are meant to teach. 
Yeah, that's true. All right. Oh, I get the. Oh, Caspian, you're already assigned. You're you I, have your I powers. Was, I mean, mine not too. I was hoping I would meet a Gilligan's sweaty island. <laughs> Where where'd Brandy go? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just noticing. I don't she see here? Her. I, I seem to no, be she's in. She's in room three. Okay. She's already there. Oh, okay. She's probably where's where's Rob? No, we're not in the same room. It's just like oh, okay. I, it, look, it looked like there were less people on the screen before he pushed the button, and I noticed she wasn't there, but I was wrong. Okay, okay. I'm going to my room. Okay. I might. Okay. Who's got these? Paul, oh, you do. We were waiting for you. Yeah, to show we're up. waiting on you. Okay, how many countries? Okay, let me you, you have all the answers, Susan. I have studied the map multiple times, but remembering the name of the of the that's the tough part. River, yeah. Um, and the and the capital. So for number one, though, um, yeah, I don't know the river, but for number one, um, is is Russia considered? Yeah, that's in Europe. No. I, what? Is it Russia and Asia? I, I, well, yeah, see, that's the question that I have in my mind, because I think that Ukraine is the largest, except for Russia. And I don't know if Russia is considered. Europe I don't think it matters Asia. because Russia is not part of Europe. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if Russia is considered no. part of Asia or part of Europe. So, so the Europe. answer would be zero then? Wait, wait, let me think. I don't think so. I Isn't Turkey I larger? How about Spain? I don't know. I don't know. I think yes. I'm thinking Ukraine, but I that's just my best guess. Well, I don't I, I see where your point is, but I don't think Russia is considered part of Europe. No, it's considered part of Asia. Right. Um, so okay, think of a map. If you were to look on it. I have a feeling that Turkey, Spain, and maybe France are pretty big land-wise. Except, you know, the way they draw the map, sometimes they don't, they're not like accurate. Comparison yeah, I mean, it's even wise. Sweden or something, the way it's all elongated and stuff. Yeah, I don't know, Ukraine's pretty big. Um, three, two. I've never heard so anybody say that Ukraine is the largest country in Europe. I've never heard that. Has anybody ever heard that? No, but I haven't heard anybody say any other country is either. Well, Ukraine has kind of just came onto our radar in the last couple of years where we. Right. But I mean, even before say, that, nope. Nobody's it's just, such an important right. country. It's the it's like, even the largest landmass in Europe. Right, but nobody's said, well, France is the biggest country in Europe or something. I've never, never heard that. Um, because they just don't talk about it that way, I guess. Okay, so what major river roughly bisects Ukraine north to south? Do we know the names of any rivers in Ukraine? No. I thought there was one called White River, but I'm not sure. And it wouldn't be called White because it would be in Ukraine. <laughs> now we don't speak ukraine so we're out of luck okay the capital and largest city of ukraine is kiev what is the second largest city a formal capital isn't it oh yeah does yeah. it start with an m is it that Maripol? Other... what Maripol? Yeah, Maripol? yeah yeah it, could that be it might be maybe i thought it Maripol's way down close to crimea i thought it was something that was over closer to bulgaria but i'm not sure so what it Mar Maripol like that yeah. something like that okay. something like that soup who knows soup you guys know food I wouldn't eat that if you paid me uh, yeah is that borscht? isn't that borscht borscht oh it's that, did Jamie is that what you said too I'm having trouble hearing you you're pretty quiet yeah um I'm thinking it might be borscht but I'm not it's sure they're certainly borscht? close enough to Russian how do you spell borscht b o if, but, uh, that's uh, right it has a T on I the think end. there's a T on the end. There's a T on the end, and it's made of beets for sure. So I think that's it. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, how many presidents? It's S C H T. Oh, it is the C H T. It's got all the consonants. All yeah, of it. 
For yes. Add a couple Z's. All of it. Wait. <laughs> there you go. Borscht. That's it. Oh, no, yeah, there you that's go. That's the plural of borscht. Is with a bunch of Z's <laughs> yeah, on the end. That's right. <laughs> okay. That's right. So, how many presidents? How long has Ukraine been around? Not long. Um, since nine. 19- well, when was the breakup of the Soviet? Yeah, of the yeah Soviet. Union. It only got its independence only. Oh God, it feels so embarrassed. I don't 91. know this stuff. Thirteen ninety-one, wasn't it? Was it in the eighty? Oh, ninety-one. I that thought it sounds familiar. 80s. I think it was 91. Okay, so 91. And then, and then how many years does each president serve? One year. So let's say the average of four years. So what is 31 like, divided by four? Somebody quick. 27. Wait, we have to do math. That would be eight, roughly. Seven, seven points. Oh, do something. you think he could be eight? And then how many have any served multiple terms? Yeah. Well, then we could go with six. But it's not a because lot. Because that's the question. 10. It's not saying how many, I would assume by how many presidents, if someone served multiple terms, they would only count as, I'm I'm assuming he's asking for how many individual, right? Yeah, would different we agree people on that? have been president. Yeah. So five. Yeah, and there no. might have been somebody served a very short term too. I wouldn't think it would be more than five, but I don't know. Four. We like five? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, if there's a potential for up to eight, yeah, I, I don't know. Five sounds good to me, I guess, if everyone's okay with five. Mm-hmm. I know he, this was his first term, I'm pretty sure. And it was kind of interesting being a comedian. Yeah. Well, not only that, but he actually was the president of Ukraine in a TV show. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. hilarious. So I, that's, I, I that's watch just, that. I just think that's hilarious. Okay. Okay, so I think it's wheat. I, yeah, I think it's wheat also. Wheat I think. works for me. Um, what are you doing? Sansky? Is that a food? Yeah. That's the way he said it. It's like, what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> I, it sounds like it's creating it. It kind of makes it sound like it, it's not a capitalized word. So it's not a name. Right. Uh, I, so it's, it's like some kind of bread maybe or. Or sweet. Do you or think it's sweet. Like, I, the fact oh, that it says the word the word creating makes it sound. And I think if oh, it was yeah, food, yeah. he would have said making. No, yeah, yeah. but he may have said creating just to creating. keep people um, from guessing the answer easily. Do you, do you think it's like povetitsa, which is Ooh. oh, that's like a sweet bread. It's, it's a, bread a sweet bread. But I I have povetitsa. I don't know Pisansky. What are you doing if you're creating it? Well, if you're it's creating not, the pizza, you're rolling it out. It's yeah. not one of those weird egg things that they do in Russia where they make them all, all red, eggs are red. For, Maybe like it's for cheese East, rolls for running down a hill. No. Well, it says it's become identified with a prominent Christian holiday. And, Christmas. Um, I know what about East, they, Easter they, eggs. How, how about Easter oh, eggs? Oh, Easter eggs. I know they do that. I know they do that in Ukraine. But yeah. How would that be creating? Well, because they paint them and they do, and they blow the they blow the art. inside out. It's creating art. I think it's yeah. decorating eggs to yeah, some degree. I think that's what it is. Oh, that would make sense. Let's so, just say that decorating eggs. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Okay, the most popular sport is probably soccer. I mean, the soccer. Yes, yeah, the most so- popular soccer sport soccer, everywhere, soccer, yeah. except here. <laughs> or pickleball, you know. <laughs> or skating. It's, it soon will be pickleball. Oh. What Maybe. about what about skating because it's icy and snowy? Well, it might be ice hockey. Yeah, it could be. I think it's they, they got all those rivers, okay. they probably freeze in the winter. Yeah. Okay, this is gloss 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 gloss. What's the word? Is okay, does anybody know? Because like I think it's glass nosed. Yeah. Well, I thought that was like the peace thing. Oh. Were they were they like negotiated and talked to each other and stuff? Oh, the protest that was the 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 they were all over the place. And wasn't that called the Arab Spring? No, but that wouldn't be in Ukraine. That was that wasn't there, and, and it wasn't the Women's March either. <laughs> March for science. March for science. <laughs> um, twenty thirteen. No. 
So, um, was that um, about something about global warming? Um, Oh, the like climate the thing? Greta, the Greta things. Oh, um, oh. That's, that makes it sound like it was only Ukraine. No, it well, said... There, there, were, there were worldwide protests, but but I don't know if that was the same one. It says major protests broke out in Ukraine. Yeah, but they could have broken out other places too. Or or was it first in Ukraine? Yeah, maybe, yeah. Because the word is... Geez, um. And Glasnost was older. That's a Russian thing. Yeah, that was that was Gorbachev or something. Yeah. Yeah, I think it, yeah, it was older. I mean, I think you're right. It does mean peace. Um how's everybody doing, Caspian? Uh getting close-ish. About where we are. <laughs> Roughly, yeah. Okay. I should have known he was going to do a category in this eventually. I mean, I really should have. I should have been painted remembering my lakes. And we, my should all, rivers. we should all know more about Ukraine than we do. Yeah. Oh, the timer's coming up, right? So we got... No? Uh, oh, no, it isn't. Okay, never mind. 10 is also about a river. Okay, yeah. so this is the river. So I would assume it's got to be a different answer it's than so two. It's important. Right? And if I could look at my, if I could cheat and look at my, just the last conversation I had with Caspian and my other son Sterling, we were talking about this, this, this really important river right there. It's kind of right before Crimea. And it is, um, there's, a, there's, they're talking about it right now. The city that is just now, being vacated it starts with a k y oh the where they had to re retreat kind of yeah mm -hmm. it's just happening like today yeah. in the yeah. last couple yeah. days yeah. and that is where the river is it goes right by it and the river is called something ukrainian um, <laughs> that's the problem we don't speak I, I know where it is it's right there and then and it's it's really important um and there's railroad lines and it's right there and there's these cities and all these people got trapped over on one side of it the russians got trapped as the ukrainians were advancing and they can't get across the river because uh ukrainians keep bombing the um trying every, every time they're trying to get across the river like if they try to build a putan putan put, putan put, a bridge with made out of boats what's it called pontoon pontoon, pontoon. Bridge, yeah every time they try to make a pontoon bridge to get back onto the the russian side of the river they can't because they're they're bombed or whatever so they were all stuck there and they were starving all the russians were starving and they could helicopter them out but it was like really slow moving and the river was called see i'm, Come on, I'm, better, Susan. At, I'm better at stories i can yeah Everything to me is a story. I, I facts. Well, how come your story doesn't include the name of the river, Susan? Well, like I said, I had a feeling it was something that had to do with white, but not. We're going to be called back soon. We should go back to what? What was our guess for how many countries in Europe are larger? Do we want to say three? I heard that number thrown out there. Yeah. Well, Five. I don't know how I many. Did, I don't think it's that I'm many. I'm just a visitor here. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> oh, okay. You're just here to tell stories and take up our time. I, I, I see how it is. I think that three is a good guess. Right. Um, I'll put three because it's better than nothing since it's just we, a number for that. Could, for the rivers? Oh, shoot. Don't know any rivers. We need our protest name and our river names. River dance. River dance. <laughs> that was the protest. <laughs> and you know, I don't know why the word white keeps coming to me, but it's not white. And it's not even a word like white. It's like a a D K maybe a Z. <laughs> well, we got a lot of Z's over. I there. think there's a V in it. Did you know what? 
Put it on both. Spelling doesn't count, so as long as it's somewhat closely pronounced, pronounced like that, then we got it. River, river, and then major protests broke out in. How about Greta? Was that Greta? Greta. There you go, Greta. Okay, and Tim, don't forget to put river, river. But we I'm think 10. it was actually called Greta. <laughs> and, no, no. And we... We're back. This just made me so embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, wow, these were tough questions. I've looked at a map of Ukraine so many times just yeah. to get a vision of what's happening and where. And you look at it. And on my map, it's written in Ukrainian with the little yeah. down H yeah. and stuff like that. So it's real like yeah, it's something that is not pronounceable. So when I'm looking on the yeah. map, I have a hard time with it. And then it sure. doesn't help any because I wouldn't remember it anyway. But I did tell a story and you guys can go back and look at it on the You thing. could you could pronounce Dobrayutra. Oh Dobrayuta. Yeah. Dobrayutra. That's, that's what so we that, said, wasn't it? <laughs> that's actually oh, no, Russian. It's actually reasons, Russian. Isn't it? yeah, that's if Caspian mean. would go to Sycon, he could have said what what Sycon MC as Ukrainian ancestry. Mm -hmm. True. That's true. Oh, yeah. Somebody we all know and love, and he's a good friend. Right? I'm giving this test to two of my coworkers from Ukraine. Oh. Are you doing it right now? No, no they're both asleep, so I doubt oh, it. Oh, okay. <laughs> he is, Wake but they're not answering. Yeah. Hey, no, I want to report next people week. Are sleeping now. Next week, I want to have a report back how they did, because yeah. my son's asleep. Oh, there, okay. was, there was something we were uh, that I was gonna. What were we talking about last week that I that we were gonna bring up? Oh, but um, never mind because Faith and Romero aren't here tonight either. Hey, where are they? Oh yeah, but but what's his face? Yeah, so not this week. Where are they? I don't know. They, they might come in. They might come later. Yeah, don't let me forget Wendy. If okay. They show. okay, so Caspian, that was very educational, and I am in totally embarrassed. Yeah. Thank you for embarrassing your mother. <laughs> Fine. That's what Fine. children live for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, he's writing a category on Ukrainian trivia. <laughs> <laughs> only in a, only in my family would that happen. I think. Okay. Okay. So, question one. There is one country in Europe with oh, more God. land area than Ukraine. It is Russia. Wait, no, Russia. Uh, if Russia was Europe. We thought it was yeah. part of Asia. I think it's part of both. It's in both. So, so we, so we put that down, and we did have a debate because it's crossed by the Ural Mountains, and part of it's in Asia. So we weren't sure if you're going to count that, but we did put that. Yeah. Down. yeah. I have never heard russia disputed as being a european country i have heard russia being described as both i've heard it described as europe but with a large colonial empire i've never heard it described purely so, as an asian country it was actually disputed when trump made the order that people from europe were not allowed to fly back to the u.s and my niece was in russia at the time and we were is russia part of europe we don't know oh no i don't know if i can come home <laughs> did she come back yes she did well, then obviously she rushes a part of Europe. Because <laughs> Trump wouldn't have been wrong, right? But is the Rush, the European part of Russia bigger than Ukraine? Yes. By far, yes. Okay. Russia is massive. Well, the whole country is, but most Even of it's European in Asia. Of, yes, but the European okay. part of Russia is roughly the it's, size of the rest of Europe. Okay, that's well, kind of what I thought. All right. Yeah, because I heard a lecture one time. I'm a, uh, my mom and dad belong to a club of intellectuals, and I could go and listen. <laughs> they didn't let me talk, but they, but <laughs> um, um, but uh, one of the talks was about the sub the Soviet Union. So I don't know if that I mean that Russia was a part of the Soviet Union, but at the time I think it was still the Soviet Union, and it was twelve time zones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Yep. The European part so big that the German bombers couldn't reach past the Ural Mountains in World War II. All right, question two, Caspian. Well, while this is all good information about Russia, 
The question was how many, and if you said one, thinking it might be France, you're still right. You said one. Yeah, that's true. I agree, Aaron. I thought it was Turkey, France, Spain. I yeah. thought Turkey, France, and Spain because they're big. They're large, but they're not that big in comparison. <laughs> question two: The river that roughly bisects Ukraine north to south is the Dnipro. I will also accept the more common Russian name Dnieper. Oh, that okay. is that. Shoot. Cool. Oh, Dnieper. What did we put, you guys? What was it we said? The Dnieper. What? You mean the random letters you put, you called out that we just wrote down? <laughs> no, I said. They were not I the said, correct letters, nor were they in the I correct said order. A name. I said name. I said Grupla. No, you said, uh, I think there's a D, a K, a Z, and a V, and that was Are they answer. in this word, the Caspian oh, that, That's our answer to number 10. I'm getting a river, a river with an E in its name. <laughs> yeah, why didn't you use your psychic power, Susan? I sense flowing water. Oh, here comes Romero, speaking of which. Okay. All right, go ahead, Cass. Are you putting these uh, in the chat after? or Question three. This... Yes. The second largest city in Ukraine is Kharkiv. Oh. Parkiv. Oh yeah. Parkiv. Oh. I lost my the Kharkiv. Traditional soup <laughs> of Russia of Ukraine is borscht. Yes. We got a boy. Hey. Hey. All right. Hey. Oh. Borscht. There have been six presidents of Ukraine. Oh my god. And also one acting president, but that doesn't really count. Well, we almost got that one. Oh. Need a plus or minus one. Well, Zelensky's yeah. an acting three. president. That's <laughs> right, he is an acting. <laughs> or is it Question president? six. The largest sector of the Euro Ukrainian economy is agriculture. Yay. We put wheat. Uh, we put wheat. You need to be more general than that. Wheat is not a sector. It's a commodity. Okay. I'm going to write so you out. Sunflower well. seeds is <laughs> incorrect. Correct. Sunflower seeds is incorrect. I'm giving everything to the Scientologist when I die. No, oh, <laughs> that's terrible. Uh -huh. Including the seven. cats, <laughs> the peas. Susan, Pisanki. next time you say yes, we had agriculture. <laughs> Pisanki is the art of decorating eggs. Yes. <laughs> All right. And this can everybody put yes. almonds and wax on and yes. then die. Yes, Wendy. Our, my team is great. They figured that out. <laughs> the most popular sport in Ukraine is. Soccer. Yes. Yay. Yay. Football. Right. Football. Football. Question nine. Foot. Football. The protests have largely been known by the word Euromaidan. Okay. <laughs> Roughly translated <laughs> as Euro Square. Okay. Will you accept dignity as in the revolution of dignity? I'm afraid not, no. Hi, Karen. Hi. So that is technically correct that the protests were known by that. Euro Maiden sounds like a European metal taskmaster. He's. I, I was going to say, Carl. It sounds like some extinct uh, animal, <laughs> some, <laughs> yeah. some some dinosaur that we just discovered. Euro Maidan. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. Euro And oh, question yeah. ten: The major river in the east that's largely defining the fighting there is the Sevierski Donetsk. Oh. And its tributaries, the Oskil, Sarabets, and Idar. Didn't um, I say that, you guys? <laughs> no, was this a graduate level said. course? Oh, we, we, <laughs> put the blank space river. That. You do not need to know the tributaries. You, you, you told a great long, long story, Susan, that them. didn't give us the answer, though. There was that. I did tell a long story. I know what yeah, this you is. Did. I can you tell, tell you what it's all about. It just about didn't it. have the answer in it. And the Putan bridges. Putan? 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 Pontoon. Pontoon bridges. That sounds like French fries with cheese. Kind of like a futon, yeah. except it's not a futon. <laughs> oh, no. I had it all on there. Okay, so I think I think I have breaking news. Oh God, no! What? Oregon may actually have a governor elect. What? Oh, is that good? Okay. What? Yeah. Uh, it's Tina Kotek made it through. Okay. Democrat. Was that, a, was that like when, like not? We were worried about it. We, yeah, we had a spoiler yeah. candidate that was supported by a lot of big money, like uh, Bill Knight and stuff, and uh, 
And so the Republican was ready to maybe win. <gasps> And, and this is just projection, but it came from the Washington okay. Post. So it's good. This is good news. Remember I said only good news aloud? Oh, I know. Good news. Why, yeah, no, it's good news. Okay. Hey, good. Mark, right. Mark Kelly's lead over Masters in Arizona has widened, and he's now 53 to 44. So Yay. Does he get the blue check mark? <laughs> <laughs> so you have, to pay, you have to pay $8 a month for that. So if I pay eight dollars, can I be president? <laughs> yes, that is what it Thank means. Thank you, president of Ukraine. You can at president least claim Kevin. the president. Okay, so let's go to scores. Now that I got everything transferred over into our little boxes, little boxes on the hillside, little boxes made of ticky tacky. Here we go. <laughs> so, Aaron. You got to go on Red Divorce because they were, the, you guys, you thought Red Divorce, you thought that you were like it, losing and that like having five was a bad thing. No, you got Karen. So you could thank me later. Oh, and Romero's coming back again for the second time. All right, Karen. All right, Red Divorce. I was no help. I was no help. Well, Karen does on. not have a PhD in Ukraine. So you would have been got, really good on the first category too. We got four. Four. I have a feeling that's going to be a high. <laughs> All right, let's go with high school sweaty heart. Oh, no, 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 no. Schrodinger's red wave. Six. Six. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Broke ass twit of the year. Uh, three. That is Caspian's team. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. Okay, return, high school return. sweaty hearts. Six. And where will Dr. Oz pretend to live next? Two. Uh, no, we had at least three, didn't we? Well, we would have had three if we changed grain, grain to farming. No, but we no, had we borscht, had uh, decorating eggs, and soccer. Yeah, we had three. Oh, yes, soccer. Sorry, three then. All right. We went ahead four. 4.4. Four. Yeah. Four. For learning, I think we should learn a, learned a lot about Ukraine. I think it's great. Okay, good job, Caspian. Yeah. Very good. I feel smarter now. <laughs> Let's take our photo. Photos. Everybody oh, looks photo quick. ready. I love how you guys all get all ready. It just makes me <laughs> smile. Here we are. You guys get me so happy because you're like, oh, I don't have to talk you into this. This is something. Jamie and Caspian. We get to see the front of Carl's face. Wait, I think Caspian and Jamie are running. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wow. Caspian and Jamie running up to the to the yeah. there they are. Kitty. Look at that kitty. <laughs> James isn't in here yet. Jane. Oh, James. It's James. eight o'clock. James, wait for James. Everybody copy call. I purposely <laughs> left. Okay, here we go. Caspian and Jamie. Well, at least we get his mountain in there. I'm waiting for Caspian to get adjusted. Get yourself adjusted. Okay, there you go. That's better. Okay. I'm going to count to three and then I'm going to take it. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Okay, let's see if I got it All right. Oh, now that we're all we got these all on this 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 new um what? what's it called? What? Word? No your band. Get out of your run. <laughs> he said the word. <laughs> Wait, should we all put blue check marks uh, oh, after okay. our names? We can't do that. Okay, I got it. So five minutes. Y'all is there a way to do that? No. No. <laughs> well, I bet, I bet, I bet uh, that would work. Some, somebody will figure it out. Are we taking a break? Five minute break? Five yes, minutes. Five minutes. Okay. Four and a half now. Okay. Putting the picture up. Yeah, now that now that we have a whole official article about trivia and all that kind of stuff, the pictures are become more important than they <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm starting to fade. So there you go. I, I've been up that's since how 4 a.m. Okay, that's fine. If you want to go, you can go. Hi, Romero. It was nice to see you. Hi, everyone. Jeff. Um, hi, bye, bye, bye to the kitties. <laughs> Will do. Bye, you kitties. How's this? You Romero, where have you guys been? Uh, we went. We had to go to a fundraiser for a uh, uh, blind school. 
as one does. Um, Susan, you should probably put Ramiro on our team because I'm probably going to give my answers for the next round and then I need to go to bed because I'm already falling asleep and Jeff just left as well. So they oh, okay, okay. So you were on, where are you? The Red Divorce. Oh, there you are. Yeah, okay, okay. Because Lynn and Paul said they might not make it too late either too. So we'll see. That's fine. Otherwise, we could. it would just be Gail and Peggy. Oh, and Karen. Yeah, Karen. It would just be Gail, but Gail is also doing the category number four. So. Well, then you give me. Right. So it'll just be you. The best worlds. All of the best worlds. Okay. Are we done yet? Has it been five minutes? Oh. I'll be back. No. I'm going to get ice cream. I'll be right back. <gasps> We can have ice cream. You have to share. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go run and see if I have ice cream. I'll be right back. Man, I already know I don't. Remember, have ice you cream. can put a scoop of ice cream in the CD tray of your computer and email it to people. Okay. Ooh. In the cup holder? Yes, the cup holder. <laughs> what if you have a flat drive? <laughs> then I think you need to get a new computer. Get a blender. Get a blender. No, if you have a slack drive, you have this thing that has cheese storage. But I thought that's days. where you put the bread. Early days of internet, NPR did a story that, that Starbucks was going to be selling the ability to hook to your computer like a like a cable and you could download cups of coffee. And they went through a whole big story about this. And I was driving home from work at the time saying, that's not how the internet works. You can't do that. And I got home and realized it's April 1st. It was, it was their <laughs> story. <laughs> and they caught me on it real bad. I ha just saw, I got fooled by a guy who said that he got fired from Twitter. He worked there like creating some of the, the things and he got fired by email and when you held up the email it was like a meme that said you're fired or good luck something like that and i believed it <laughs> recently this is this is something that just happened this week yes because i'm on tiktok a lot and in the news you know they fired people like like really quickly and then started rehiring them again so when this broke out this guy made a video about how he worked for twitter in like he was an engineer and they just fired him by me. Yeah. <laughs> and now, uh, like Elon Musk's face on it and like big block letters, like, you're fired here. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Uh, big Musk is now, I'm legit. Musk is now telling the uh, employees that they all, uh, that were work from home, they all have to come into the office now. A lot of them are going to say, screw you. Yeah. We're out of here. Yeah. He is a horde manager. I, I, he's just, he's, people say he's a genius, but you know what? He doesn't invent any of these things. He just, he just has money. Huh? He just has money. Right. Yeah. Everybody thinks he's like SpaceX and shit. He's not. Well, you know, if, if you're CEO of two companies and now three companies, how much can you really be doing for any one of them? Right. Hmm. A lot, greedy, a lot of people have said, well, he invented Tesla. He didn't invent the, the electric the car. <laughs> he didn't invent Tesla. No, but he but he came in as an advisor. Because I as was money. watching a video yesterday or the day before of, of the two people that actually did the development of the Tesla as a consumer product. Uh-huh. Um and he, I don't know enough about business. He doesn't have to be the inventor to be responsible for the um, the business thriving or tanking. Right. And so, so I hear what people are saying is, oh, he doesn't do any of the inventing, and that part is probably true. But he did something else that made those companies go yeah right. i mean the argument that he didn't invent anything it isn't necessarily on itself 
strength of anything because Edison didn't invent most of what his company invented and most of what he's credited with inventing. Mm -hmm. But you can't, you can't say uh, Musk is a genius inventor no. or Edison for nope. that matter. Nope. Uh, nope. You can say he, they're great um, uh, managers to- Managers, organizers. Marketers. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, and that's I, great. I'll, I'll I'll agree with that. But you can't say that Musk invented the Tesla. Musk invented this. Musk invented that. He didn't invent any of those things. But I think right now he jumped the shark unless something changes. Because I was just reading the article on the Hill that was also in the Washington Post that was about how there. The, their, the company's finances, they're, they're in debt for billions of dollars, or at mm -hmm. least a billion dollars every year in, ta in taxes. Uh -huh. And that doesn't sound good. And he's firing people. Well, and he, he also cut his net worth by like billions of dollars yeah. and went through with this deal. It, it was insane. not doing any of this for like good business practices. Somebody's not muted. Whoever's got admin what are you talking about? This is a killer person. deal for him. He's going to make it back times five. No, he's not. He's, Tesla's lost so much value. People, the, uh, the speculation is that he wants to have like a built in marketing scheme through Tesla, through Twitter. It doesn't have the market reach. I got a uh, effect. But Huh? It's all I'm, waiting. Ego trip. I'm still waiting by my modem, no ice cream. Sorry, but it doesn't, I, I don't have that kind of thing anymore. Well, I might have. All right, I'm we're back. Fax it to me. I'll send it using energy waves. Okay, here we go. Let's talk about this real quick on my new list. Uh, Kyle, first on the list, Data Skeptic. What's going on with Data Skeptic? Hey, hey, this week uh, I talked to a researcher about um, the price of what uh, those consent screens put up. So, you know, when you go to a site and you have to say, yes, I'll take a cookie, there are people experimenting with other approaches where you don't get tracked, but you have to pay. Uh, we talk about the success of those, who's doing that, and exactly how much your cookies are worth. That's this week on Data oh, Skeptic. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Very good. That sounds very interesting. More expensive than Girl Scout cookies? <laughs> In my hey, neighborhood, uh, sure. Should Elon listen? Maybe he'll I listen. think he'll be all right on his own, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, on my list, I've joined Mastodon, trying it out. I've joined a group called, supposedly a skeptic group, it's called blacksun.social. If anybody else wants to join, I've put it up on my Facebook page. And maybe deleting Twitter soon. Um, Rob, I understand you're going to be doing a talk. Where'd you guys go? Why is everybody deleted? What? You guys scared me. It was like the world has ended. What happened? <laughs> we got like the first take better. Your back. We Did ended I, up talking about Mastodon. It was Russians. It was because of the Ukraine <laughs> conversation. Somebody said you were going to say that. That's because I told Deborah. That's because she, she, she texted that to me and I saw oh, it. Oh. Like, did you guys I see that I got psychic. ice cream? <laughs> Must be we thought you had now. a total brain freeze. <laughs> <laughs> it's an earthquake. Okay. It, it looked like you were trying to win a staring contest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did somebody take a picture? Oh, it's probably on the video that will be out eventually. When okay, you, okay. Uh, when you froze, the video probably stopped. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, okay, so quickly, <laughs> I'm on Mastodon. If anybody wants to try it and, and join, I'm in blacksense.social. I don't know what all that means, but it's supposed to be a group that's kind of like, it's a brand new group. It's been around a day and it's kind of like a- I can't take another social media thing. I just black, can't. Blacksense.social. And that, because when you join Mastodon, you have to join groups like a, anyway, I don't know. I, I'm not going to be the one explaining this. Somebody else will do it eventually. But anyway, moving on very quickly. Here's what I said when I, I realized I looked up and you were all frozen, like, 
<laughs> what I was saying is, Rob, apparently you're appearing with the, the Triangle Skeptic. So do you or, or Romero want to say something? Oh, before you get to that, there is a new release of the Skeptic Zone this last weekend. And uh, one of the people on here is featured on it. Oh, Romero! Uh, I had the uh, honor of interviewing three people for this segment. Uh, Richard uh, Dawkins, you know, who, yeah, who cares about him? The and, Romero uh, was on it. David Robert Grimes. And yes, Romero Rodriguez. Yeah, who cares about Dawkins? That's Romero right. was so, on it. So here's the, here's the link for the That's YouTube right. version. It starts right at the uh, beginning of my interviews. So uh, yes, very good. Romero. And apparently the Skeptic Zone has a new host now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> Somebody so, explain that. So what you probably don't know, Kelly, is that three years ago I talked at the Philadelphia Association for Critical Thinking, and I started my this was about GSOW, and I started my presentation with one slide about who I am, how I got into skepticism, and one of them said I founded the skeptical movement through the Skeptics Guide to the Universe, and also blah blah blah. I designed spacecraft for a living. So somebody from uh, the university was there and wrote it up in their school newspaper as Rob Palmer, who works for NASA and runs the Skeptic Guide to the Universe. <laughs> so, so taking over the Skeptic Zone is my second time I've taken over a podcast. Yeah. He got quoted in the uh, morning hearsay, which heresy, is heresy, heresy, which is like a one every day you get like a news roundup of what's going on in the world of scientific skepticism. And they said that Rob Palmer had done a series of interviews for his podcast. Yeah, yeah. Skeptic Zone, and that's what yeah. Kelly's referring to. Okay, so you're going to be doing a talk? I'm going to be doing a talk next week. That is correct for Triangle Skeptics. And Romero might have to put the link for that because I don't have what that available. What day will that be? What Wednesday. day do you guys meet, Romero? It's going to be on Wednesday. At what so, time? Uh, when, seven uh, Eastern time. Mm-hmm. So and we I'm will gonna, not have a chance to remind you guys. But and this is, yeah, right, so this is the last reminder right before the next game. And I am going to be giving an extended talk of the talk I gave at SciCon for the Great oh. Australian Psychic Prediction Project. Instead yeah. of 15 minutes, it's 45 minutes or so. So you'll get to hear a lot more information. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. All right. So that was on my list. Um, I'm going to be in uh, San Jose. No, where am I going to be? LA, December 18th, speaking at Center for Inquiry. And what we're going to do is I'm trying to put something together on Friday night. That's a fun social something thing, do something, and something Saturday during the day, and then something Saturday afternoon-ish to the evening. And then and then obviously my talks on Sunday. And all of this will have something to do socially and food related after. So that's coming up. <clears throat> If you're in the LA area, please come and see me. Um, and then the last, the two things, the only other one is um, I'm working with CFI. I keep talking about this. If you're interested in joining a skeptic group and you're looking for one to join, or um, if you are thinking of joining a skeptic group, okay, no, 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 take that back. If you are trying to find a skeptic group or you run a skeptic group, please go to centerforinquiry.com org and there's a group function on the drop down thing and you will sign up your group or find a group there we're working on this and i'll talk about it every week if you're interested in starting a group we are going to be doing uh like a some zoom seminars on that but i don't have time for it the last thing is very sad news that uh, we lost a, a wonderful amazing man this week oh. um ken frazier yeah just incredible. He's the man who ran Skeptical Inquirer magazine as the editor for almost 50 years. He died. He um, was a friend. He came out to Monterey County Skeptics. Um, Deborah, you might remember that. Yeah. Love, lovely, nice lovely, lovely, lovely. Wonderful guy. man. Him and his wife. I've stayed with them in New Mexico at their home in Albuquerque. Wonderful person. And he um, loved to travel. He's been traveling, him and his wife, and they went on vacation. And they went to, I guess, a bunch of national parks. He had had a, some kind of test before he went. Something was weird, but they went on his test anyway. During his vacation, he realized he was having a hard time. He's lethargic, he was having some problems. Got back home, and they found he had like some form of leukemia and within three weeks he was dead so it's very sad but um wonderful man 
He they, had beat he, he had beat a previous form of leukemia and like his family's had a lot of worse. Yeah, yeah, he had a lot of problems with the um, there's been a lot of bad problems. But as far as deaths go, this was I would consider a good death because he lived a wonderful life and his family was with him. He just came back from this vacation. He just wrote a book and just sent it for publishing right before he went on vacation. I mean, if you could time it, this would be good. I mean, he died in his own bed, I believe, with his family surrounding him. It was just, and people were writing to him and reading him. They were reading him off to him. It was, it's very, very sad, but I mean, my goodness, what a guy. Anyway, let's get back to the game. Oh, yeah. Um, I believe it's probably going to be Julie, um, Julia la, 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 who was, who was actually playing trivia with us one day, one time. I think it's her because she's the managing editor right now. She's been filling in for him and she's been the person who's, um, been helping running it. She's youngish, like maybe thirties. Wow. And she's been, uh, been do no, she must be older than that because I think she's been working with Ken Frazier for about 15 years. So she must be in her 40s if she's, she loves karaoke, very fun. She lives in Buffalo. Uh, when I went back to Buffalo this last year, she she was game to do just about anything. We went on a uh, horses that go up and down, spin. Carousel. Carousel. Thank yes, thank you. Bronco. So, <laughs> she's just a rodeo <laughs> she wanted Before to go riding. out she wanted to go karaoke oh, and i'm God. like oh no i am adrian and i were like oh we're we, we need to go <laughs> we're tired we were exhausted okay so okay do i need to give any permissions back to anybody is everybody yes me oh are we all in uh, the right room since you got bumped out i don't know we'll find out in a few minutes oh, so who's over. who's next up i Let think i Cindy? Yeah. Cindy's next. Oh, yeah. Okay, Cindy's so let me give you the permission, kind of... Cindy. And we will find out where... Oh, that's Heather. No, where's Cindy? Cindy! Yes? There you are. Okay. Your little thing lights up. Okay. Cindy's next. And this is like our third time doing categories, so you know what that means. We don't have to be polite. <laughs> give her the business. <laughs> Oh, come on, you guys. She's nice. <laughs> All right. Okay. And so you ready? Yep. Okay, so this is a pop song pop quiz. So all of these uh, songs that I'm going to ask questions about. Carl, are you there? I mean, Kyle? <laughs> I hope this one's going to ask questions about were either performed or recorded between the 60s and the late 90s. Most were released either as uh, singles for rock stations or videos for MTV or both, or maybe neither. Uh, but all of these artists have had singles on the rock stations and had some filmed performances of these songs. And all the answers to the questions are, are the titles of the song. So that's what I'm looking for. The answer to the question is titles to the song. Okay, so. Let Kyle, Kyle do his business. Oh. Everybody's muted. Cindy, you'll need to unmute. I think he did that during the break. <laughs> Can you confirm, Kyle? Indeed. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that little piece of information we did not need to know. Okay, Cindy, you're all up. Okay. So this category is pop song, pop, pop song, pop quiz. So all these songs were formed or recorded between the 60s and the late 90s. Most were released either as singles for rock stations or videos for MTV. Maybe both or maybe neither. But all the artists have had singles on rock stations or had some kind of film performance of their song. All the answers are titles to the songs. So, um, so it's just the song title only is what you're looking for the answer. First question. 
name the Fab Fours. Name the Fab Four song about a serial killer who has groupies. get question this is a song about a wayward son hiding in honduras because of an incident in havana he pleads with his dad to get him to get him out of this so what does he want his dad to send him that he thinks will help him out of this pickle mm, pickles okay <laughs> the third question. So I'm, confused, I'm confused already because you said all the answers are song titles and then you asked a different right. question. Yeah. So when he answers the question, it's going to be a song title. It same. makes okay. sense. All right. Yeah. So when he answers the question, it's going to be a song title. These are songs with different, she's describing songs like, like, Carl I understand, President. Susan, but the last one had a specific question at the end. It was about something in the song. So I didn't know it was the same thing as the name of the song. Thank you. Yeah. It's going to be the song title. But you figure out it's going to be the song title. So this next one, a third one, is the 60s Welsh singer pleads with this woman, why, 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 and to forgive him. Who is he beseeching? Four. Okay, this song was um, this song was inspired by Norman Bates. It was performed by the band and a jo Jonathan Demi film, and it was this group's first song to break the Billboard chart at number ninety-two. Number five, in this song, the boy is frustrated to the point of murder because he can't get his girl's romantic attention since she's glued to the tube. What specifically is she doing? TMI. Number six, this song by a British band was inspired by Albert Camus' novel, The Stranger. Number seven, this song is about flowers and murder, was sung as, as a duet, and according to Wikipedia, got repeated airplay on MTV during the mid-90s, making the album is on um, the band's greatest seller or biggest seller. Okay. Number eight, a grisly, gruffed voice singer is singing about a cop killer who's also dying from a bullet wound and it's and the title of the song is also the title of an unrelated 1993 movie number nine the singer confesses to shooting someone but not the person he's accused of shooting who did the singer shoot? Who did who did the singer say he shot? Okay. Number 10. 
Okay, number 10. This song was inspired by the attack on, on anchorman Dan Rather in 1986. What did Rather's attacker keep saying? Okay, so let me read that again. So this song was inspired by the attack on Angerman Dan Rather in 1986. What did Rather's attacker keep asking him? I know. You got it. That's perfect. Wow, this category should have been pop song murder quiz. Wow, that's amazing. I another one. Well, she could do another, out. she could do another one on, on something a little less gruesome, I guess. Very good. I I got I I very good, Cindy. Ready to go to our rooms? No, yeah, we, we, didn't, we, didn't get, we didn't get number 10. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm getting in there. Just a minute. There it is. Okay. Hey, let's go. Good category. Excellent category. Oh, I've got to put you guys I all know. in your rooms. I knew you would again. say that. Everybody's yeah. almost nobody's in a room. I saw Karen grinning. I know. Okay, so give me a second here. I gotta put you all in your rooms, and you're all alphabetical. So, oh, where are we starting here? Okay, Ben, you are in two. Bob, you are in three. Brandy, you are in three. Carolyn, you are in five. Cindy, you're in three. Well, you've got powers. You can go whatever you want. Deborah, you're in two. Gail, you're in four. What happened? I was in a room by myself. Heather, the the everybody has to be put in rooms. Heather's in one. Oh, wow. That's what happened, I guess, when they kicked me out. James, you are in one. Jamie and Caspian, you are in two. Jamie. In Thailand, you are in room three. Oh, and it took the names away, too. It's just room yeah. one. Janine, um, well, no, it has been that way. Karen, you are oh, in didn't notice that. four. Yeah, it, it almost always when I used to put them in there. Kelly, you are in. When I used to do it, it would just, I'd put them in and then it would disappear. There was Kelly. Kevin, you're in five. Five, yeah. Lynn and Paul. You're in four. Peggy, you are in four. Romero, I haven't put you anywhere. Ron, you are in three. Terry, you're in two. Vincent, sorry, Vincent, you're almost at the end here. Five with that V name. Oh, Wendy's got you. Wendy, Wendy, you are in one. Okay, so now I need to put where Faith and Romero are going to be. So, who is it that's... Oh, we well, room five. three is down one. Yeah, uh, well, okay, so right now, I think Kelly one said looks she was good. Mm -hmm. or Kelly said she was going to leave soon, so we were going to go in her team. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Four. So we're going to put you in four. Very good. Okay. Change your names. Okay. And four is going to be Faith and Romero. Okay. I'm going to my room. Okay. Which is now three. I'm over it. Hi, team. Hey. Helter Skelter would was the Helter you wanted to start this race war. That might be the right answer, but it's a bad question. Over on one, number one the song wasn't about that. He made it about himself. Does anyway. this Maxwell character in the Maxwell Silver Hammer song have groupies? Does it mention groupies? No, that's what threw me. But uh. but it's a, a song about a guy that kills different people. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's yeah, Helter Skelter might be it, but it's it's a flawed question. But I think yeah, I think that well, might be what she was getting at. Yes, so let's put down help for now. Put down Helter Skelter. Yeah. So who's taking notes? Is someone taking notes? I can if you want. Not me. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, number two. Is that is that lawyers, yep. guns, and money? Get me out of this. Uh, da, da, my wayward son. They'll be no, no, when you not. are done. No. Yeah. Lawyers, guns, and money. Warren, is it Warren Zevon? Send Never lawyers, guns, it. and money. Get me out of this. Never heard That's, of it. Don't know if you say so. The, the lyric is send to lawyers, guns, and money. What, what does he want him to send? <laughs> lawyers, guns, and money. It's Warren Zevon. Well, then that's, that's in, the answer. War, uh, I'm stranded in Honduras. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's Okay, okay. there you okay. go. Write that down. Lawyers, lawyers, guns, and money. Number three, number three, I was kind of surprised that I knew the answer. What is it? Anybody else got it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tom Jones, it was called Delilah. Why, why, oh, why, right. Delilah. Why, 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 Delilah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Now, yeah, now you're. Now right. you got oh, it. So now it makes sense. Okay. Now you got it. Never heard okay. of it. Okay. Four. Yeah, I think that's been. Four, why, four is why, Norman Bates. Why. Psycho? Psycho killer? Psycho killer. Kesskesse. Which um, band was that? Talking Heads. Oh, talking heads. heads. Okay. That might be a uh, psycho killer. That, yeah. I, I think that might be good. Yep. Okay, so. Yeah, I can't. Glued to the tube. Psycho killer. Okay, psycho killer. Not literally glued, I, don't, I guess, but like. Could be. You know, uh -huh. <laughs> this is kind of a word the, category. I don't remember too many of the word, lyrics. It was Elvis Costello song called Watching the Detectives. I do remember the song, but I'm trying to think of that lyric. Watching the detectives. Jeez. But what's this? Was there a part about a girl being glued to the tube? It said something about she's so cute or something like that. So it was the girl was watching the detectives is the impression I got. I don't remember. This is a good category, Cindy. I could see this being done multiple times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I so think watching the detective? Yeah, we'll yeah, go with that. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. Then I'm I'm blank for the next couple. Six, no idea. I have no idea who Albert Kemus is. Albert, Albert Camus. Camus. He did the plague, the stranger. Yeah. Real up up at his novels. How's everybody doing, Cindy? <laughs> um they're they're guessing some and they're some of them are guessing the songs the particular singer did, but they can't guess the singer and they can't guess the, the song I'm asking for. But they're on the right track. Well, it's kind of like a little bit on the right track and then a little bit way off the track. It's fun to watch. <laughs> okay, so six, we don't know, right? No. no idea. Okay, seven. Flowers and murder. Flowers and murder, sung as a duet, and according and to you got repeated airplay and MTV during the mid '90s, making the album and it's MTV. I I want my MTV. Was that Sunny and Cher? Oh, that's Cher. Oh, not in the '80s. No, not 90s. In the 90s. Oh, the 90s. Flowers and murder. <laughs> wow. What do what we were singing in the nineties? Brie Osmond and Donnie. I was going to say that. I was going to say yes. <laughs> but it's, well, but it's we brought that in our last it's category. Not, it's not like a Dolly Parton Kenny Rogers duet. You know, it's a it's an established band. Oh, that's a good one. Um, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash and not on MTV in the nineties. So. See, there were oh, duets. Mark, you like want to help? Special. They're not. Yes, Mark. They're not considered a band. It's just like a, a setup thing where the, the, these two established star, stars are going to sing with each other, you know. And, well, you know, so, the so it's a band. With, well, the song is a duet, but it's Flowers and Murder. Um, It'll make total sense when we know it. Didn't Meatloaf do Wonder, some duet song that was popular in the 90s? Who? 
dashboard, mm -hmm. the dashboard. Yeah, I thought the meatloaf had do it. Had do oh, it. oh, that's good. Uh, I, I, I don't remember a video won't. though. The, yeah, I, I do, do remember him being on MTV a lot. Because like, I yeah. won't do that. Was a, I do anything for love, but I won't do that. It was a duet. Was that about flowers and murder? I'm trying to think of the. I don't remember there being flowers and murder in any of his songs. He was saying about uh, yeah. He's talking life. about all the things that he would do, but maybe not murder. I'll bring you flowers, but I won't murder someone. No. I know. I saw him in concert a few years ago, just before he passed but, away. I'm just trying to think of other bands that did songs as duets. Like the Human League had that, Don't You Want Me Baby, where the, you know. Don't you want me baby. So the woman, the man what? said her thing, his thing, and then the woman said her thing, you know, went back and forth. Like that. That's I'm just I was watching a lot of MTV that, in the mid 90s. I was watching in the 80s. Oh, I'm trying to remember. In the what... very beginning, I watched. I mean, we'd call in sick to work. We were like, "What the hell is it?" <laughs> the first first year it was out, we're like, "Oh my god, this is mesmerizing." Never seen anything like that before. But this is later. Um, I have the last two, if it helps. Well, I'm yeah, nine. Nine. Yeah, yeah. nine. Nine yeah. is like shot the sheriff, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay, and number ten is one of my favorite <laughs> songs. What's the frequency, Canna? It by REM. Oh, is it? Is is it I've never heard that song. I oh my God, it's I so good. What's the frequency, Canna? Yeah. Okay. Wait, so great I know song. It was, I what? I What's the frequency, Canna? And Kenneth? it's a true story. He really was, Dan Rather was attacked by a man, just jumped on him and started beating him and yelling at him. What's the frequency, Canna? Oh, crazy. It is Why is he story. saying Canna yeah. to Dan Rather? Kenneth. Nobody knows. There's no no. The guy was nuts. He just oh, okay. Thought the Kenneth was thought Dan Rather was Kenneth, and they didn't know if it was an attack on Dan Rather because he's Dan Rather, or because he just happened to be there at the time the guy was attacking people. But anyway, REM wrote a song about it, so I feel good. I've given you a point. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I I knew the quote, but I didn't never heard of the song. Oh. Uh. Killer who's dying. It's not Bohemian Rhapsody, right? Oh, well, it, okay. Can you think of a 1993 movie? What were we doing in 93? I was not watching yeah. movies. I had a, I had a two year old and a five year old, six year old, and I was watching probably Barney. <laughs> Final of a non related. And the Power Rangers or something in 93. That'd be a Kenny Rogers song. A grizzly gruff voice singer. I first thing I thought of was Sylvia Brown. I thought of Tom Waits, but I don't. That's another one, but that's a little late for him. Well, it doesn't say the well, song was well, in nineteen ninety three, just the movie. Yeah, actually. it doesn't. Yeah, because it was. Oh, you're okay, right, right, right. Gruff voice, well, that James Brown? He, no, James Brown did the girl. Uh, I think. Who else had a girl? Um, um, Joe Cocker. Yeah, Joe Cocker. That's a good. That's that's a, a good voice. Or Very. Name name something you sang. Yeah. You can't get any more gruff than Joe Cocker. Uh, Tom Waits. <laughs> what do we say for five? Five um, watching, watching, watching the, the detective. detectives. Elvis watching the song. detectives. Yeah. Elvis Costello song. You remember it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. It's Tom Waits. It's gonna. He did this one. It was kind of a spoken word. It was called. Small change, and it was about a character named Small Change. 
It's a small change, got rained on with his own 38. So it's about a street kid that got shot with his own gun. And, uh, but I don't, there was not a movie that I know. Well, I just can't stop thinking about that Ice T song, Cop Killer. Yeah, I, that's exactly what I was thinking of too. But I know I can't get that out of my head now. But it, I don't know if the timing. Well, we don't know when this thing came out. So yeah, I still got a, a gruff voice. I don't think so. I don't know if he could really be considered a grizzly gruff voiced singer. He's a rapper. Yeah. I also don't remember in that song someone else dying from a bullet wound. It was just about killing cops. Yeah. These are hard. Yeah. Mark might come in and maybe he'll know some. Let me see. I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. So with number six, we really have like no starting point whatsoever, right? Because none of us are familiar enough with Albert Camus. 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 Oh, what's that? French, yeah. I'm thinking the doors. There's a song in there about stranger. Oh, when you're people are strange when you're a stranger. Yeah, but what's the name of the song? Is it people are strange? strange? When you're strange. When, when you're, you're strange. strange. When you're strange, that's kind of a repeated line. I just don't know which well, people are the strange. name of the song is... itself. Yeah, that would be my guess at this point, but I don't. Unless somebody can come up with the actual name of that song. And Susan's on mute, by the way. So she's just babbling to herself. When you're strange? I'll put yeah, when you're strange are, for now. People, Either people are strange or when you're strange. Yeah. People are strange, probably. Yeah. If, yeah, we could try that. As a so guess. people are strange? Yeah. What do you think? Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay, so and, we, and we're still missing one about the flowers. Okay, and... I just asked Mark and he doesn't have any, he doesn't he said helter skelter, same thing we said. Close the door all the yeah, way. Yeah, please all the way. The other two don't so <laughs> we were thinking perhaps the um I would do anything for love the meatloaf song for number seven but we weren't confirmed i don't know that song well, no, I was I was just trying to dashboard to the dashboard light one i don't remember flowers and murder and either of those so what is she asking him to do in the song that he won't do for love marry her hmm. wait wait <laughs> okay wait wait what is this? Well, it's good to guess what you got. Which one are you yeah. talking about? Number seven. <laughs> I would do anything for murder. murder. I won't do that. Where, yeah, where do you get the, the she yeah, wouldn't do? That's one of the lines no, in it. Oh, is no. it the line? Yeah. I, well, I, I know there's a meatloaf song, the dashboard light one, where he was saying that he wants um, till the end of time. Yeah, but that's just fooling around in the car. Yeah. Well, she yeah, said, I won't marry you. Uh, she says, I won't fool around with you unless you marry me. And he says, I'll marry you. And he says, I'll, I'll, I will be married to you till the end of time. And then the song. I'm waiting is, for the end of time. Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting for the end of time. Hurry up, the end of time. Yeah. Might, yeah. But again, yeah. that's. Yeah, I don't think it's, no. I don't think he intended to murder her, to kill her. No. And I don't remember any flowers in that one. Yeah. And the biggest seller, yeah, I could see that was bad out of hell. 
So then we got to think of a different duet in the 90s. Of course, then there's always where have all the flowers gone. It's not about tell me where the flowers gone. Because there's flowers, there's dead soldiers. Oh, that's not murder. That's just dead soldiers. Yeah. And that's a lot lot earlier than that. Yeah. That's in the 60s. It wasn't a duet. Well, it's Peter, Paul, Mary, and Mary's dead now, so it's just Peter and Paul. Yeah. That's so sad. Yeah, I, I saw them at concert. They were good. It might... hmm. Are you all done, Cindy? It might have been. I won't do it that. It might be as stuck as we're going to be. We're stuck. Try, I'd do anything for love, but I won't do that. I won't do that. Did Guns N' Roses ever do a song about Guns N' Roses? <laughs> I don't think hmm. so. Yeah, I don't know. How many questions do you, do you guys have answered? Eight. Eight? Okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out when I should. Go ahead. Bruce. You, you yes, can put us, yeah, yeah, put us out of our base. Yeah, we're going to just <laughs> keep going over it again. Okay. Pull the plug, it's a lost cause. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really glad these two cats on my lap get along. I have my dog oh. begging for more food. <laughs> oh, number number ten. My wife thinks it might be the. It's called "Might Be Rooster" by Alice in Chains. What song? No, it's what question. Might number ten. No, might no, be, it's no. what's the frequency? Can no, 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 no. That one it's, I know what's for the sure. Frequency Kenneth. I knew the quote. I didn't know it was a song. So, but I. That's oh. what I thought of. So yeah, she said there's a song. So. Oh, okay. No, it's what's the frequency oh, count? It's yeah. based on a. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good. Okay. Oh, it's based the uh, based on. Da, the, la, 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 la. <laughs> oh, okay. It's very good. Okay, we're going. Well, I guess we're done. Thank you, team. We're we gonna we're we gonna do I do anything for love as a guest. Yeah. That's okay. Good. She and called us people. back. I can't see the darn thing. Um, not yet. Um, oh. Okay. Probably trying to figure out how to do it. You know, um, Susan, I, I met my uh, my childhood sweaty heart at fat camp. We uh, we were inseparable. Aww. We we stuck together. Literally, huh? They, 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 somebody got us some baby powder and then that's all that. <laughs> Fun while it lasted, I guess. And nothing to do with chickens. No, that's the very recent. Seven, 2017. Oh, that's right. I think I remember you telling us that uh, was it a neighbor that was getting rid of them and you said we'll take them? No, I already bought, I'd already planned to, to get my own start my own flock. So I bought I bought 15 chicks. They sent 17. The lady said, well, that one's a rooster because it's got a blue spot on its head. So I thought, well, I don't want it. So they moved it to the other order that the people hadn't picked up yet. So <laughs> is that how it kept happening with other people? <laughs> they got a rooster. Somebody keeps moving them to the next. They to the got next. a rooster. Um, yeah, and I, I, so I had 16. Uh, Ticks that I raised um, in the spring of 17. My neighbor has a new rooster and he is gorgeous. Oh my God, he's got he's got like a, a silver cape and a gold like a like a gold saddle. The cape are the long feathers from the neck. And these are just have like a silver color against a dark background. And then the saddle are the long feathers that grow 
in front of their tail, they come off to the side, their long pointed feathers. They look a lot like the neck feathers. And that's like a, a pale gold color against a dark background. He's I mean, just amazing. I think chickens are amazing looking creatures. They're just so Yeah, they really beautiful. Yeah, they, yeah, we've we've uh we haven't had them as long as dogs, but we've had them for not many thousand years. So all right, you, you guys. Know, we're going in there. Good job. Yeah. Thank you, team. Yeah. This meeting is being recorded. I think there was a theme on that last round. Oh yeah, death and death and destruction. Crime. Crime. Crime scene. Yeah. There are more songs about murder than yeah. There are more songs about murder than any other type of crime. Really? Yeah. When I, I was, was thinking, thinking of the, like songs would mostly be about love. Who's Who's going to write songs about shoplifting? Come on. Right. Actually, Love so isn't a crime. Fun. Love is a battlefield. Anybody want to hear my concept album about wire fraud? <laughs> 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 yeah, sing me, sing me one of the lyrics. Hey, Kevin, yeah. love is only a battlefield because people won't stop using sex as a weapon. Um, yep, that's right. Mm -hmm. All right, Cindy, what you got? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put the answers in the in the um, chat, and then I'll read them out. Okay. I'm going to do the reverse. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Do the crime before the time. <laughs> okay. So these are the answers with some extra information. Um, the first one, the Fab Four, remember, that's the Beatles nickname. That was the Beatles nickname. Um. So Maxwell Silver Hammer. Oh, oh. He oh. Man of three people. And he had at least two groupies in the courtroom that were screaming, set him free. Oh, okay. Damn it. I scribbled Very that good. down and I probably Very mentioned good. that in our team, but it didn't <laughs> stick. Yeah. Okay, you were right okay. then. Hello, it... Skelter. Yeah, because um, that no, help the Skelter is a slide. Wait. And Cindy, I have to say, when I heard you say number one, I thought you said herpes. I did too. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, oh, had, I had I a different too. song in mind. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, my audio went out. What was number one's answer? Maxwell Silver Hammer. No. What? By the Beatles. Remember, the Beatles' nickname was the Fab Four. Yeah. Oh, man. That did you say you're putting there? these in the chat? Yeah. They, or, wait. Are they there now? No. 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 Did I do? Okay. Hit enter. Now. There it goes. Yeah, yeah. there they are. Sorry about that. Uh, I keep forgetting to man. Okay. Yeah. So um, I love Maxwell them. murdered three people with his silver hammer. Oh, wow. Yeah. And he had at least two groupies in the courtroom that were yelling to set him free. Okay, so the second one is a song by Warren Sivan. He wants his dad to send him lawyers, guns, and money. Mm -hmm. Totally didn't. And Thank you, Deborah. It has hit the fan. Oh. It is. Yeah, that song has also um, become like the theme song of, yeah. of a couple of different lawyers. programs, podcasts, and TV programs. Okay. His second biggest hit. Yeah. yeah, then I think all the six are from Excitable Boy because I don't remember what else he's put out after that one. Um, number three, Delilah. Why, why Delilah? It is by Tom Jones. His nickname was the Welsh singer, or he was known as the Welsh singer. And uh, it's a song about uh, a guy who murders his woman when he catches her cheating on him. So he stabs her to death. Damn. Um, Damn, teacher. Yeah. So uh, it looked like a lot of people got psycho killer by talking heads. Psycho killer. Just yeah. to say. Yeah. yeah. And their concert movie was a uh, Stop Making Sense by Jonathan Demi. Thank you. Uh, 
uh, one room came up with a title watching the detectives, but they didn't like they didn't realize that was the song title. But that's what what that girl <laughs> was doing. She was watching the detectives. That's right. by Ellen Costello. Oh, I love him. That was put out in 1977. And it was on his U.S. release of the album, My Aim is True. Number six, Karen got this one right away, Killing an Arab by The Cure. Never heard of it. Never, Karen, never heard Karen of it. knows they, her movies. Yeah. Well, they did. A, um, I mean, her music. <laughs> yeah. The Cure did a lot of uh, videos for MTV back mm -hmm. in the 80s. I don't remember that one. If you hadn't said a British group, I don't know if it would have come to mind. Yeah, because there's also a Russian group that did a, a, a song based on the novel. So you're just, well, I didn't know about the novel, but you're just kind of going, where is that? And you're going through. But if you hadn't said a British group, I would, probably wouldn't have remembered it. Yeah, I'm surprised. And I'm also surprised a lot of people don't know the novel The Stranger. It's a very very seminal novel and it was published in 1942 okay i gotta take off guys oh i was great good night caroline good night caroline thanks caroline Hi. Hi. okay um number seven i i did think most people probably wouldn't get this one but uh, it's called oh. Where the Wild Roses Grow. Yeah. And it's by Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. It's from their Murder Ballads album. And all the songs are about murder. Uh, that was released in 1995. And he sung the duo with Kylie, and I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but she's an Australian no. singer. No. 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 Yeah, she's an Australian singer. Eight. This song is by Tom Waits. I thought everybody would get the description of him as being grisly and gruff voice. I got the yeah, I'll get the I name know. of the we guy. Got the, we got the I, name I, of the I, guy. <laughs> so the song is Romeo's, Romeo is Bleeding. And yeah, I, I said the name of it is also the title of a movie because there's a critic that thought that the song was a reworking of an earlier song that he did. So I just want to make sure people got that it's Romeo's, Romeo's Bleeding. And um, the movie stars Gary Oldman as a womanizing corrupt cop. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, nine, I Shot the Sheriff. I think a lot of people got that one. Yeah. By Bob Marley and the Wheelers. And I think not, a lot of people got 10. What's the frequency, Kath? By Wonderful Arnie. song. Wonderful. So that's a. Very good. Okay, thank you. Is tabulating. Weirdly, I never heard that there was a song about that, but I, I knew about what had happened uh, to Dan Rather. So it's, it's like, a true story. <laughs> yeah, I know. yeah I knew we got it because Rob had that clue. If you look on uh, Wikipedia for Dan Rather, you'll see a little section about this. Hi, puppy. Okay, so let's go to our scores. What do we got? I don't think they ever figured out what that guy meant. No, right. I don't think he He's even knows what he nope. meant. All right, so we've got two teams in uh, last place. Let's see what we got for Broke Ass Twit of the Year. Three. Oh, I'm uh, sorry, four, not three. Three? We got four. 34? We got four, sorry. Four, three? Yeah, not, not three, four. None? All right, Red Divorce. We got eight. Wow. wow, that made that made the broke ass twit of the year look pretty bad. Thanks for showing off. That okay. was our intention. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so this is Cindy's own team. Where will Dr. Oz pretend to live next? Six. Not bad. Right in the middle. Um, Schrodinger's red wave. Four. Four. And high school sweaty art. Six. Six. Wow. Wow. You guys know your sweaty hearts. Okay, so we have uh, Gail next. Let me give her her powers to be. I got to get going. I'm, I'm falling. Oh, Bye, Heather. Take care, Heather. Thanks Thank for showing up. Heather, Bye. good to see Bye, you. Bye, Bye Thank you, everybody. 
Night. So Night. Gail is up next. I'm going to mention really quick while we're getting ourselves organized that uh, next week we have Vincent, Mike Wolf, Peggy, and nobody else after that. I need two more. And I wanted to remind people, I should probably be doing this periodically, that we have changed the rules if you haven't done these in a while. We want you to think a little more about speeding it up, maybe helping to have less true and false and less long questions, if you can. And we don't want uh, 11th questions or so no bonus questions. And if you're doing a mystery category, do not make one of the answers, what is the mystery? Does that make sense? Well, except I, don't think, I don't think the true and false be. admonition is because of speeding it up, because that would speed it up. So you, you had we had a reason, reason why you we had another reason. Yeah, false. you didn't like that. You had another reason you didn't like that. I don't yeah, remember. You don't know, you don't get a point. But we were saying try to keep it in mind. So anybody who volunteers for next week and the weeks after that, keep that in mind. Um, so I need a bonus and I need a person. And then the following week I have Aaron. So think about that for a minute. We got a few minutes. Well, okay, put, so, put me down yeah. for the put me down. I can do a round in either one of those. Not next week, but the following week. So so you want a uh, game. Yeah, yeah. Not game, two game number one thirty five would be Rob and Carl will be. Do you want a bonus or a regular category, Carl? I could do either or. I would like to do a non bonus next week. Okay, Karen's going to do that, and so Carl, you no, you can't, Carl. I'm doing, already doing a bonus tonight, though. Yeah, so forget oh, it. Okay, never mind. No, no, you're fine. Up to the next week. No, you're fine, Karen. You haven't done one in a while, so I just need a bonus for next week. That's not Carl. And I'll put Carl on the following week. Okay. Why can't we do a bonus twice? Because I just want somebody else to volunteer okay. before I have to go pick them. She likes variety. Okay. <laughs> All right, Gail. You're okay. up here. Um, okay, I'll do, I'll, do a, I'll do a regular bonus. For now, Susan. I could what? do a bonus. No, just, well, somebody will pick. Go ahead. Okay, we're going to be doing something very different from everything else we've done tonight. Ooh. Um, the category, and I need a little bit of explanation for it. The category is medieval terminology. Oh. And it's based on 14th century England. 15th century could be there too, but basically it's 14th century England, which is a mistake up there. Um, I love reading medieval mysteries. It's my favorite entertainment reading. Really? Other than, other than um, you, Susan, have totally spoiled me with Hail Mary. And anybody who hasn't read Hail Mary, you've got to read it. And it's an absolutely and, fabulous book. Yeah, but, and and ultra. And that show you that recommended, one. Gail. That that detective show you recommended from the oh. Middle Ages. People should watch that. We're Cat going. On, we're going on tangents. Yeah, see, Cat File what got me oh, going yeah. on the medieval. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. I like Cat genre, oh. Watch Cat File. Okay, With Derek Jacobi. And what they do in the in the mysteries, it's a mystery <laughs> story, but of course they're limited in what they can do based on the fact that they have what they had then and the culture that they had then. Most of the authors <clears throat> have compromised on the language. So they don't <clears throat> use the language because they wouldn't understand the story, but they do use a lot of terminology that is medieval. And when you read enough stories, you get to learn them. So yeah. these come mostly from Mel Starr's books, but That's they come great. from a lot of medieval times. And it's basically 14th century. It could go into 15th century, but I think that you'll do better if you think 14th century. Would I know any of these if I've never read one of the books, but I have eaten at medieval times several times? <laughs> <laughs> it's more accurate than medieval times. Um, yeah. These things tend to be written by actual historians. So one of the fun things I find reading them is usually at the end of the book, after you've read the book and you solve the mystery and you know the story, they tell you what parts of it are based on real history and what parts they made up. And I'm usually wrong. I usually think the parts that were real are the parts that were more fiction than the other and the reverse. However, I'm going to ask you, these are all story questions about terminology. And I will say as I'm getting started, originally I was just going to ask you to match the words. And then I thought that's just going to be too hard. Because if you don't know this stuff, you won't know it. So to make it easier, most of them are going to be multiple choice for the terms. So you get at least a one in four chance, but some of them you might be able to figure out even if you don't know it. So having said all of that, um, shall we get started? Yes. Definitely. So um, who's, who's doing the, you, the muting? 
Okay. Okay. Question one. And question one, I made a little personal. Uh, one of the stories, and not just one, actually many in the end, talked about growing corn and eating corn. And I was surprised since the author doesn't usually make such a simple mistake. But the mistake was mine, not his. What was my mistake? Or why was the author this question before? Either that or why was the author right? Because it's the same thing. Yeah. I was wrong, but the author was in fact right. Okay, question two. Which of the following would be something not acceptable to eat or drink if it was a fast day? And fast days were often two days and three days every week, in addition to the holidays. Wow. And this one's about money. You want to read the read the ABCD for the people listening, oh, sorry, the millions yes. of people listening on video eventually. Right. Um, the answers are hippocrat, stockfish, quarry of peas, Lombard stew, or, or that's it, Lombard stew is D. Or which of the following is the smallest coin on this list? A penny, farthing, shilling, or crown? Question four. Question four. Use the same four answers as you did for the last one. Which of those coins did not have a coin? There was not a coin uh, amount. And number three, are you referring to value or physical size? Value. Okay. Question five. Question five. What was the name for an object that caused a death? It was sold and the proceeds were awarded to the king. A, a duodan, B, a double stick, C, a crescent, or D, a compass. Okay, number six. What is the name given to the communion wafer or its container? Is it A, Ribic, B, Subtlety, C, Pix, or D, Harriet? And this one's not going to have a multiple choice, but it is a term. Okay, question seven. What was the principal job of the feuderer on a lord's estate? Number eight. The term we're looking for is anchorite. An anchorite was some sort of a religious person. What was important about their religious observance? Number nine. Which of the following was the name given to the outer garment worn by both men and women? Women were floor length and men it was usually thigh to ankle length. It was it A, Cohardy, B, Gardero, C, Maslin, or D, Beetle? And then number 10. Okay, number 10. Which of the following people would probably be in training to become a squire? A, a page, B, a groom, D, a valet, or C, a valet, or D, the bailiff? That's it. Any questions? Very different categories tonight <laughs> very different categories tonight all right okay breakout rooms here we go
Hello, team. Hello. Help. Help. These are questions. No, those aren't. Oh. Thank you. We're supposed to have Karen in here. She was doing yeah. something when I, when I came in here. Mm. So I'm not good enough for you, huh, Peggy? Fine. You're wonderful. Yeah, yeah. I know my uh, my my medieval trivia. There's Karen. One of the stories you were talked looking about for you, growing Karen. Peggy corn. wanted you, not me. No, I just wanted to yeah. make sure we started when the whole group was here to be Yay. not rude. Uh huh. You know, we have that we first question, and I can't remember the answer. It's because okay. corn referred to a different grain. Corn was like wheat or some other grain. It was like another word for a different grain than corn. Oh, you remember that or you knew that? I remember that. Yay. I didn't I, know I, that. I thought it was something else. I thought it was um corn wasn't in that country in at the time and and Yell found out that it really was in the country at that time. But maybe it was candy corn. But it wasn't because it, <laughs> it was, was candy before, corn. It was before the New World corn got imported. I I am deferring to you all because I am just a guest here. If Peggy remembers, let's go for it. Wait, wait, that's not your usual MO, Susan. What are you doing? Susan's hanging on the cross big time tonight, man. Because <laughs> I got booted out or something. That was weird. Um, because you guys are not winning. So I'm saving myself up for the next team. I see. <laughs> you don't want to be on five, the team. Team five is ahead by three points. Hey, we, we, got, we made up for some lost ground earlier tonight. Yeah, this last category you did really Thanks well. Thanks, Hey, That's really Karen's good. Karen's answers. Okay, so going back to this one, I don't know anything about medieval history. So it would be something with meat in it. And I don't know what Hippocrates is. I think fish would be okay. The pea thing would be okay. So I think it's either Lombard stew, which sounds Probably. meaty, or Hippocrates, whatever the hell that is. I, I would go with Lombard stew. Yeah, I think the stew. Yeah, I think the stew one. Because it's probably got meat in it. It's probably got lamb or mutton in it. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me. Okay, the smallest coin. By size or denomination? Denomination. Is it? I thought you meant by That's size. That's what she said. Or no, she, she said by value. I think she was talking about the yeah. worth, not the size. I think it's a penny or a farthing. I'm not sure which one it is. It's not a shilling because shilling was like if somebody gave you a shilling, they'd be like, oh, wow, I got a shilling. That was big. And I'm not shilling. Oh, Lynn, just letting you know you're on mute. Yeah, right. we're on mute. A farthing is a quarter of a penny. So what was a yeah, farthing? A farthing. There you go. There's somebody who knows exactly how much a farthing is. Good. Well, because that's what Scrooge wanted to pay them was in farthings instead of. Yeah. Ebenezer. A penny, wow. So of the one which did not have its own coin, um what would it be a crown? It so the crown it might have been a crown. Oh, I thought so. I thought they gave people crowns. Like yeah, they said, oh, a crown I gave them a crown or a shilling. Well, this is, this, yeah, it was a long time ago. And, and I also gave them a penny, didn't they? Or did they not? Well, could it be like a penny because you could just give them four farthings and there's a penny? I think so. Yeah, that I think the penny sense. is the one. Well, all pennies. Uh, just because we have pennies, you know, doesn't mean they have them. I would be surprised if it's a penny. I don't know. So the Maybe shilling. Not. I don't know when they started using shillings. I'm not positive they would have had shillings in like the 1300s. Any thoughts on that? Discuss amongst yourselves. <laughs> I mean, I, I've only heard about like this like, derogatory term or like shillings were like a der derogatory term used later, right? Like, oh, you only care about shillings. Is Karen supposed to be in this room? Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm letting her back in. I've got a cat trying to get in through the door and I don't want her in here. <laughs> Go away. We don't want your kind here. Put her in diapers. She's, I think, the one that's doing the problem. I just don't want her here. She, she's, What's going on? She's Ooh. scratching the door and she's trying to get in like this. She's peeing in the in the office, so. She's peeing in the uh, door. I've I'm heard sorry. Her we had to... twice. No. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, going back to the four. 
Karen, yeah, you're or... you're muted. We need you, Karen. Now none of the questions show. Okay, but I, I don't know any of them. But um, here, I don't know any of them anyway. Here's question five. Here's question six. Okay, I guessed. Okay, it's not. Oh, um, wait. seven. I know one. It's not. Um, a coppice has to do with. The woods. It's not coppice. Number five is not coppice. Unless yeah. coppice unless coppice has multiple meanings. Um and coppice, you think that's the same as cops? The cops of the woods? the name for an object that caused a death well i don't know i would guess that that's not it I'm so which of, the, which of the coins do we think wasn't a coin are we going with penny or shilling or crown or far we know farthing was there imagine a dibble stick killing anybody well you're working on two different answers yeah questions <laughs> Well, why would okay. they have the penny farthing bicycle wheels if they weren't coins? Isn't that supposed to be literally that those two coins? Oh, were good bicycles? point. Good Yeah, but point. We, we don't know then when we'll that go with started, shilling. though. Shilling or crown. go with the crown. Let's go with the crown. I think, because I think I can remember hearing people say, she gave me a shilling. I think they had gold crowns. Yeah, but it's a coin. But would it have been paper crowns? No, they didn't use paper. They didn't use paper much. Yeah, I think they well, Okay. No. It doesn't uh, make Well, sense. okay, let's take a vote. Both a shilling and a crown sound right. How, so. how many people want shilling? I'm going for shilling. There's one vote. Okay, Maybe what are the one. two? What are we choosing they between? They, uh, shilling, shilling and crown. And they had pieces of eight. These coins you broke into pieces. I don't know what they were worth, but... If you're just using a piece of a coin, I guess that wouldn't count as a coin. I'm going for crown. That's what I thought too. All right. Is that enough votes? It's not, it's not an educated like that's guess. such a major thing. That, I but I agree know. with what Karen said that on a buy, on a penny farthing, they actually do resemble the coins. So yeah. there must be coins. Yeah. So we have like three votes for crown. Karen, have you voted? No. I, I, I haven't. I'm not clear what the two are. Shilling and crown. Shilling. It doesn't I, matter. I, We're outvoted even crown. if you do go with shilling. Crown. So. I mean, I okay. think I've heard of getting a shilling. I'm yeah. completely outvoted. Yeah. Like Oliver yeah. Twist or something, right? Yeah. Don't or, it. hey, I got a shilling. Like in, okay. in Sherlock Holmes or something. Maybe it's a euphemism for something naughty. <laughs> Well, they need some kind of uh, she gave me a shilling or object for a larger quantity of money, and the crown is the most valuable, right? Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, the name of the crown was the death. So to Romero, mm -hmm. and I, you've been out. So what do we what do we like on five? Deo Dand, Dibble Stick. Mm -hmm. Or coppice. Go with okay, dibble she dibble says coppice is not correct. Coppice has to do with the stick. woods. So it's one of I those three, A, B, or C. Dibble stick? Yeah. It's a stick. Anybody? See, it I sounds, think it's like a toothpaste. It right? sounds rather casual for C a murder is not weapon. a toothpaste. Mm -hmm. No, you're talking about crest toothpaste, but that's not what that is. <laughs> Crescette. Yeah. That's it. So I have a tentative dibble stick. We can come back to that. I, it's dibble stick sounds rather cheeky for something so serious. Something no, you agree with that. I, um, I don't have an answer, but I do agree with that. So maybe A or C then. Punch but, and Judy. But what do you think, Faith? Why? You know, I'm not. I don't know. <laughs> Faith went with dibble I, stick. I'm going to go with Dibble Stick. I'm trying to finish this thing for Rob, so. <laughs> what are you doing for Rob? Something. Something. Like 
first time. Uh, my first time experience, and I oh, it uh, it's like that? okay. Yes, it's gotten too long, and I've deleted stuff over and over again. And what is the name happening. given to the communion wafer or its container? Could it be subtlety? But it was the Eucharist. The, the Eucharist. Eucharist, yeah. Well, the Eucharist is the wine and the food. No, that's not okay. one of the answers. So. It would be called the host nowadays, but I don't know what they called it. Then. For some reason, the subtlety stands out, but I don't know why. So don't go with me on that. But so okay. what? What? What would be the like a word that's close to maybe Latin for body? None of them. So I have a suggestion. How about we go through and we see which ones we have high agreement on, and then we go back and see which ones mm -hmm. we want to talk about. Because some of these we might just pick off real quick. Um, so we're coming back to six? Because we don't know. Yeah, seven. Because we got to move through these. I'm what trying. was the principal job of a future? Future. 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 Counting the livestock. Future. No, that's not. Mowing I was wondering if it's related to farrier because it kind of like could have been an earlier word for farrier. Um, okay, what, what's a farrier do? They, did they shoe, um, put shoe horses, shoe, shoes on horses, horseshoes on the horses, taking okay. care of the feet of mm -hmm. the critters. Sure. sure, why not? We'll so come. horseshoe, horseshoe. Okay. We can and come back to it. Anchorite was dedicated to what kind of religious observance? Being a monk, I think an anchorite is a monk. So I don't know if they have to be silent, but like a monk, like being in a what do you call I a think, place where monks are? Well, I they're at the an abbey. Abby what kind of religious monk. observance? Oh. An um, anchorite was dedicated to what kind of religious observance? Oh, probably mute, be be quiet. Think silence? A vow of silence? Maybe. Or virginal. Yeah, like a let's say a vow of silence. I think silence is good. Because that would be in Cadfield, and that's kind of like I could see that being used in that series. You something. know, like they oh well, but in, in Cadville they didn't, but they pray a lot. Mm -hmm. they, they're they in a monastery and they're just, oh, in, in Cadville, they're in a monastery and they're just praying all the time. So they're like, they live with other monks and they're praying all the time. So that one, make it that one. Uh, I don't know what, okay. Praying I all the time. Silence. Praying all the time in a monastery. One group's already back. Okay. Praying all the time in a monastery. That's what all monks do. I think it's well, I know, it doesn't I know, but we're saying they're a monk, an anchorite. Okay, put something else then. Nine. Which of the following was the name given to the outer garment worn by both women floor length and men thigh to ankle length? I don't I even know how to pronounce these words. Madeline. Would Madeline? you say Lynn? Nothing. Oh. You had an idea though. What was your idea? Uh, it was just a, a wild guess. Okay. Not an educated one. Which was your guess? Uh, the beetle. But I don't really know why. It just okay. You know, sometimes things will just pop up. <laughs> okay. No idea. Yeah. So okay. I actually right. know ten. I actually know ten. What is ten? Page. Yeah. yeah I yes, page. I oh, there. everybody I knew it. Know. Everybody knew it. No, I not everybody. I think for nine. What do you guys think about garter robe? Sure. It seems like I it was thinking. Sense for a I, yeah, I would. Okay, let's okay. go. I was thinking Madeline because it reminds me of muslin, which is a um, a garment. Oh, that's a good it's a fabric. Will make yeah, it's fabric. It. It's it's a thin fabric. So would this, this be way. like really thin fabric that they would wear over plain? I don't oh. think so because it's it's a outer garment. You think it'd be warmer. Mm. But it might have just been an outer garment that could get dirty so they didn't have to constantly change their underclothes all the time okay so so how will we make a decision we'll so we have a lot of people and when we all don't know it okay we're we gonna vote decision? we're just gonna vote okay. who wants who wants maslin one <laughs> oh well, well you know paul and i have to agree well so we, we each get a half vote, vote. <laughs> you get one oh, okay. okay you got one faith are you in for maslin yeah Susan? I don't have a choice. I don't I don't really have a care. 
Well, I, I, I was, I was going to go with garden room. So we will All right. go. Be okay, we can go with garden room. I mean, you have to vote. I'm fine the going to garden room. Too. Okay, I'm garden room. I'm fine with it too. Garden room. What answers have we? Yes. We have the one is corn referred to another grain. That's all I'm going to leave. Lombard stew for the. For right, because it has meat in it. Huh? The farthing is the smallest. The crown was voted as the one that was. I, I wanted to vote for shilling on that one, by the way. I did too. Um, but, that's, but we're still outvoted. Because I think the crown is too important a coin to not be a coin. Then okay. let's change it to um, shilling. You sold me. <laughs> Okay, now now crowns are really outvoted. Okay, shilling next. Shilling. Okay, and then we have dibble stick for the murder weapon thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I don't think we're gonna do better than that. Wrong answer. Got it. <laughs> um, and why are we telling something? Number six. Death? We didn't do communion wafer. We don't have an answer. Okay, we'll come back to communion Ooh, wafer. What's yeah. seven? Susan suggested subtlety. Do we want to go with subtlety? Okay, we'll put it there. We'll come yeah. back to it. We don't have What's anything else. Seven? seven, we have horseshoe or farrier. Uh -huh. That's the future. -er. It's okay. probably something like I count okay. babies or whatever. Probably uh, eight. 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 I Well, so I had vow of silence written down and then it all kind of discombobulated into okay prayer. what did you write well we had valve silence and then there was discussion about changing it to pray a lot well because she said that about cat that cat blah 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 series they're not silent but they spend all day they just pray and pray and pray but maybe oh. they're talking about other monasteries that are okay I, I thought that they're monks specifically. That's what I thought at first. But but I'd like to get down the answers, please, before we go back and change answers. So, we're not changing it. I just need to know which answer was chosen. Not a vow of silence. Forget that. They're monks. And if they want us to be specific about what they do, they pray all the time. But they're not. I changed my mind about saying they're silent because that series, they're not silent. They, they Yeah, talk. it's a TV series. But, but they they talk. just Recognize that the question doesn't relate to the series. I well, they're monks. Acolyte, uh, the that word, anchorites are monks. Right. All right. Can I please All, point out what we have for nine and ten? Nine is um, a garter robe. I think we ended up with. Okay. And ten is page. Okay, great. Change whatever you want, and I'll change mine. I just wanted to get them all down. Can't change it without group consensus. <laughs> Oh, 56 seconds. Choose the wafer, please. Okay. Uh... Subtlety. I have oh, no subtle, idea. Subtlety, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm guessing. Susan like the word. It. it just seems like it's a word I've heard before in yeah. some sort of religious sense. And we changed it to shilling in, in number four, right? Right. Okay. A lot of luck, you guys. A lot of luck on this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Boy, we're really range of topics tonight. That's for sure. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I didn't realize this was going to be this hard. <laughs> and, Paul, if we're wrong about number four, we, well, were, just, we were just guessing anyway. I don't think you tanked your team at all, Gail, yeah, because I have a feeling everybody's going to have the same I think everybody's thing. having trouble. And, you know, I did the one one time about international this meeting is being recorded. <laughs> Thank you, Janine's computer. Thanks, Janine. You just can't predict what other people are going to know. Yeah, and that, and I like that we learn. I well, I, you know, I didn't think, I, I thought these weren't going to be easy, but, you know, when I did the airport, I thought hey, this was going to be too hard, and I added more information because I, and everybody got a 10, so yeah. you can't tell. You know what well, I liked about it is that you said that these people in this world of, who write medieval fiction or whatever they've all kind of agreed on these terms and i think that 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 was very interesting just learning that well these were the terms these are the terms they actually used back then they used modern english so that we can understand the story because they didn't talk like this remember we're talking 14th century which is it'd be chaucer it sound like chaucer that's a little later than chaucer i think yeah i doubt a modern no. audience would really listen to 14th well, I happen I happen to be listening to a podcast right now and Chaucer's Canterbury Tales were in 
around 1480, 1490. And oh, so then it is Placer because this is. This, yeah. the, most of these definitions um, actually came from um, the era just in the middle of the 14th century. So and, and, at 1460, 1470. And, and so now all the stories are in that general time period. What era? I mean, not just fiction, now, they're mysteries. Now that I threw that date out there in my mind, I'm thinking, it might have been 1380s and he died. Yeah, I, thought, I think Chaucer's the 13, which is the 14th yeah. century. I, yeah. I thought he was older than that. Yes. Okay, so you're ready for the answers? Yes, we sure are. Okay, um, you mostly got, I'm, I'm going to give everybody credit for getting the general idea here, although it wasn't exactly right. The question one, it refers to any grain. The word corn actually meant grain of any kind. The oh, word okay, the right. we call corn is actually maize. But we started calling maize corn. But the original term corn just meant grain. But Peggy, if you, Peggy if you recognize it. that, that's why that's why they had corn, because any grain was called corn. I think we well, probably called it Indian corn because that's the grain that the natives grew and then dropped the Indian. Yeah, but we corn. dropped the maize, which was really yeah. what the name for the, the, the thing used to be. Yeah. Okay, I'm giving you not only what the things are, I'm putting the answers in as I'm talking about it, but I'm telling you what the things were because some of you got wrong answers that are really rather funny when you realize what the answer was. Which of the following was not acceptable to eat or drink on a fast day? And of course, when fast, you couldn't have animal products. That's what a fast meant. Well, Hippocrates is spiced wine. That was fine. Stockfish is fish, which was fine. Puree of peas is peas, which is fine. But the pork stew, Lombard stew, was not acceptable. Yay! <laughs> We reasoned that one out. Yep, I thought that one was reasonable, uh, possibly to be reasoned, meaning. But um, you had to know that hippogriff was wine. Okay, question three, the smallest coin on the list. Here's the value. A penny, 12 pennies equaled one shilling. A farthing was by far the, small, the smallest coin. A shilling was 12 pence but there isn't a coin and a crown was worth five shillings but for question four the correct answer for the 14th century actually is shilling because there was no coin but later there became no there became a coin for the crown so i either shilling or crown because I didn't know if you knew exactly the year. Okay. Yeah. So either what's a shilling or a crown would what's be What's the answer to three before. and what's the answer to four? Okay, the answer to three is a farthing. It's the smallest Got it. by far. Got it. And the answer to four, the correct answer is actually shilling, but because at that time there was no crown, but there later became a crown. So I'll accept either shilling or crown. Cool. Okay, for number five, Number five, okay, the, the, the diadem was the thing that caused the murder. And of course, these are all murder mysteries, so there's a lot of murdering going on. And it can be something very valuable. And at least one of the stories, it was the, the wheel and the grinder. And of course, this is a, the, the lifeline of the, of, the, of the community. And the king gets it. So he got it for the money, right? And it's called diadem. That's the name for hey. what they called that. Um, the dibble stick, at least one group knew that. That's a stick used for planting, and they still use that word today. They, they oh. Like a crescent was basically oh, oil lamp. Gee, you got a right, Karen. oil with a wick in it that you use mm. when candles were expensive. And the coppice was the way, it was a section where you had sapling trees. They think they grow out of the stump in order to have saplings. Mm. Oh, so it was A. Five is A? Five is A. Diodan. Interesting. Okay. Six. Let me put that in when with the answers. Okay. Six. The communion wafer is called the PIX. P Y. -X. All right. Good job. Thank you, team. Vincent. Got it. A rebec, a rebec from simple note was a in these schools was a three a three stringed fiddle. So is a pixie stick religious? A pix, <laughs> still, the word pix is still Someone used. Someone to death with it. This is actually 
actually a contemporary word. We still use the picks to refer to the communion wafer or the container in which the, the communion is placed. So some of you Catholics probably knew that. Um, subtlety is, and that was one of, I know another of you picked, it actually is a fancy dessert. They make these oh. elaborate fancy desserts that they weren't designed for eating. They were designed yes. for eating. And they yes. were subtle. That's why they were called the subtlety, yes. right? And a Harriet was an inheritance tax. So it has absolutely nothing to do with it. Okay. The funeral, I'm because this was so hard, I'm thinking to be generous here. The funeral is correctly the person who cared for the hounds, but really? not the idea. If you said the horses, I think that would be animals. Probably well, close enough. The animals. Yeah. Animals. Hmm. Yeah. Good. All right. The chickens count? No, I don't think <laughs> it was. Thank oh, poor chickens. <laughs> and the anchorite, some people you said it was a monk. Yes, it was like a monk or a hermit. Eventually it became someone, they actually have a walled off place where they live in this tiny little place. And they were not silent. I know some of you were talking about silence. In fact, they were, they prayed all day long and gave up everything. And because of that, they were thought out. They would have a little window and they talked to the public about things that were important because they were so close to God, they would know everything. So what, what's the answer? What's the original religious observance then? It, it, the big thing was that they were private and secluded. They were, it was a monk or a hermit. So they it's, lived a separate life. They had a separate cut off place where they lived. Now, but that's solid. not the question. The question was what kind of religious observance? That's not that there kind were of religious observance, the monk. A monk is a religious observance? Yes, separating no, from the society. It's the silence and the privacy and the prey all the time. Okay, that, that's Anything it. that okay. said that, that's okay. the point. I thought that it would be somebody who was responsible for dunking witches. Yeah. We were, <laughs> <laughs> I know, they weren't up to dunking witches. It might have been, it might have been an overlap. Them. That came later. Okay. Okay, um, number nine, what was the what was the garment? It's called a court hardy. That's the name of hey. the the garderobe, which felt fooled, fooled a lot of you. It's a good thing you don't live then. That's the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Maslin was the name for Gail is the evil. rough bread. <laughs> you couldn't afford the white flour, which poor people, of course, couldn't. Made with rye or barley flour. Rough Maslin loaves was yeah. a standard breakfast. A beetle, was. it's an officer who was in charge of curfews and boundaries and basically <laughs> making sure that the manor... Um, rules were kept. And then finally, number 10. These, I think most of you got this one. Number 10, the, the person who was in training to become a squire was the page. Yep. It was the lowest on the, on, the, on the order, but on in training basically, and usually young. The groom, is the servant who was above a page but below a ballet, who was the next one. And the bailiff was actually the Lord's chief man of representative. So that was a high status position. So what was the answer? The, the answer is page. Oh, okay. The can, lowest, the can, lowest can you, in the future, Gail, can you put like correct after the one that's right? And in, in addition to explaining okay. what the other ones are, I think it would be helpful. Okay, well, I've already posted them all. No, it's fine. I, I just mean, I just mean for future. Yeah, for future put a blue round. check mark next to it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> eight dollars, right, we'll eight dollars. We'll 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 we won't charge you. No, no, no. Nope, we're fine. We're just the next time you do a round. Just, just for the next time. Oh, okay. That was very interesting. I know way more about medieval history. I'm gonna have to start listening to Cadfield. I remember <laughs> seeing a few of those. And it kind of reminded me of Father, um, not Father, Father Brown. Ted, Father Brown. Father Brown. Was that who his name was? Yeah, yeah Father Brown, but that's modern that stuff. stuff. The religious, I know, but that just the same idea that there's so much crime around a, a, a priest or some kind of religious order. It's like Father Brown Mysteries. Yeah, that's what it was. Up, I looked up what the population <laughs> of that community was at that time. It, just for the heck of it to see. Well, there's a lot of murders in this little town. <laughs> What was it? it? It was very large. It was thousands. It was oh. one of the larger cities back then. Is it like whenever um, 
uh, Angela Lansbury was on Murder, She Wrote, and people were like, get away from that Cabot Cove. <laughs> <'Cause they're, laughs> don't hang out with her because somebody's going to die. Fun fact is most of the murders did not take place in Cabot Cove. They took place elsewhere. Oh. Don't, don't ever go to that mm -hmm. island and murder in paradise. For capital murder, mm, right. I just wear didn't a red want to shirt. hang around with Angela Lansbury. I mean, if her red red shirt shows space. up at your party, leave. <laughs> Perot or Miss Marple. Yeah. Get away. Yeah, Run away. Someone will die. Someone will die, and I don't want it to be me. Oh, okay. Here we go. Right on the Orient Express. Mm -hmm. Deborah's, yeah. Deborah's reading all of the Agatha Christie's. I'm dying to sit down with you and see how you're doing. I hate I hate it that I can't. I can't say anything. Okay, so where are we at? <laughs> um, broke ass twit of the year. Seven. I want you guys wow. to do better wow. with the broke ass yeah. twit of the year. All right, you're in the lead. Stop the count. Yeah, not very <laughs> yeah, long. Not for then very where, long. Where will Dr. Oz pretend to live next? Oh, um, eight. Eight. Oh. Oh, broke ass twit of the year oh, well. it, was, it was nice while it lasted <laughs> schrodinger's red wave four did i hear four yeah. okay um red divorce which is the team the gale was running is on i think we had seven what do you think karen yeah i would consider our horse answer to be get a point yeah. okay, okay. High school sweaty hearts. Six. Whoa, it's oh. tight. It Ooh. is tight. What, what, what was the horse answer? I think I missed something. The funeral. Oh, the hounds. Just hounds oh, or the horses. Some sort of animal. Whoa, 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 whoa. The feeding, feeding, feeding animals? Taking, they, they, we took care of the hounds, but we also accepted horses because the of the hounds? taking care of animals. Oh. The, hounds, the, the hounds. The hounds fighting. Oh, no. the hounds. The hounds. Baskerville hounds, you know. Very good. Thank you, Gail. Expanded our knowledge, Ukraine and medieval terms and music stuff. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. What's our bonus? So our bonus tonight, my unconventional conventionalist, is Carl. Now I'm going to be, I'm going to be on the team of Carl. So I'm good. My mission. Since it's, we'll see. Well, I, I had uh, four different bonus rounds ready to go to choose from, and I picked the easiest one. I think we might have to leave now. Thank well, you. Wait, wait for the category. It might be one that you. Oh, okay, like. let's hear the category right. again. But we're really, we're trying we to ask for a trip tomorrow. The, 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 <laughs> the category is eight year U.S. presidents. 12 people have served exactly eight years as U.S. president. Name any 10. And just for your information, if inauguration day falls on a Sunday or a holiday, the president is still sworn in on that day in a private ceremony and the public inauguration takes place the next day. And don't worry about leap years when I say exactly eight years. Hi. Well, there you go. Have you accounted for relativistic effects? <laughs> eight years, and, eight years yeah. and only eight years or at least, or? Exactly eight years. Oh man. Not, not more than eight years, not less than eight years, exactly eight years. Knows. And this is the easier of the rounds I had prepared. Okay. All right. We're, we're going to go. All right. See you guys later. <laughs> Hopefully, see you soon. Okay. Thanks for right. showing Thank up. You. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Carl, how many people did you say had done this? 12 people have served exactly wow. eight years. Okay. And we need to find 10. Okay, these are, these are close. Oh, I've got a bunch of unassigned. How does that work? How does that happen? Wow, anyway. Okay, so Janine, you're in number one. Aaron, you are in what? Yeah. number... Why does that happen? I have no idea. Well, some of you guys get kicked out, but I can't imagine why. I mean, Peggy didn't. Well, I didn't I have to sign her. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's the Russians, I'm telling you. Yeah, <laughs> and the earthquake. And Elon I Musk. swear there was an Earth King. <laughs> Rob, where are you in here? Mm. Oh, I can go now. Rob, oh, you're in one. Wendy, you are in one. One. Okay, I'll see you guys later. 
Hasta luego. Bodego. Before Carter, where do we go? I'm here. Nixon, I'm here Nixon did not. Nixon did not, and neither did um, Bill Kennedy Clinton. or John. We got him already. Yep. We're, uh, we're, we're going backwards. We're going backwards. We're down to. Oh, what have you guys got Johnson. so far? I think we're as far back as Johnson now. We've got Obama, Clinton, Reagan, and Bush. Obama. Clinton. Which, which uh, um, W. Bush. W. Oh, yeah. The first one. No, the Obama. second one. Oh, the first. Oh, yeah. The first one, I only had one. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get back to Nixon, Johnson, Kennedy. Eisenhower, did he do two? Maybe. We're, we're now getting to pre my age, so I'm not really mm -hmm. sure. So Eisenhower's maybe. Um, and this is the one that Carl says is the easier one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we got at least four points. Didn't uh -huh. Washington? There was no Washington. There was a Washington, though. <laughs> Did he get it? That's what I just said, Washington. He said Washington. I said Washington. <laughs> I know, and I said Washington. There's no Washington. Well, there is a Washington. <laughs> George. <laughs> George Jorge, I know. We know. We're making fun Jorge, of the way Jorge, didn't he serve two terms, and that's it? I'm not sure if he actually did eight years. Yeah. George Washington? Did. Yeah. Okay. George Washington. She's trying to convince us because she's trying to get us to lose. And how about um, Adams, the John Quincy? Jefferson also did did eight years. Thomas. I, I have I have no idea about back then whether it was even <clears throat> an every four year election was set at that point. I don't know. I think so. Thomas Jefferson and uh, Harry Truman did, four, did two terms. No, mm -hmm. Harry Truman took over for. Um, oh, you're right. Uh, the person who right before him, he took over for him. Roosevelt. Yeah, so it was definitely not not Truman. No way. So. Um, the first, this first of the Adams, this the guy who was number two, second president, is not John Quincy. That was John Adams. I bet he was. You guys are all believing me, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Grover Cleveland. Did two non-consecutive terms. Remember, he got he, Cleveland was in, then he was out, then he was in again. So that he's one. But did he do? He did eight years. He was elected okay. twice. We have Eisenhower, right? Yep. Reagan? We have Reagan. Reagan. Oh, Mr. I don't, I don't think Hoover. Um, Wilson? Could be. Good guess. We have nine know. on the list right now. Yeah, but we've got your two, Washington and Adams, and I mean, they maybe just throw us off and I wouldn't do that, would I? <laughs> I really think I would. I, I'm a historian by by um, and I wouldn't want to fake history. <laughs> I think. Taft. You know what this? The funny thing is this. Caspian's probably had these out. He's like, all right, hold it, everybody. And he went yeah. down the list, named all 14. I, I guarantee it. Yeah, because he's big yeah. on this. Oh, he loves. Yeah. yeah, and I actually, I like it too, but I like it for the social reason 
the social history associated with each president, but not the detail of the year or anything like that. The story of it, yeah. So, Carl, have you mm -hmm. been to the room the Caspian's in yet? Yes. Did he just whip out all 14? Um, Caspian's room uh, so far is probably the only room that's going to get 10. <laughs> Did you know all 14? It's 12. Oh, the all 12? Uh, I, I, I. There's a reason why. All, I think he got all of them, yes. There's a reason why. There's a trick to this. It's not two term presidents, it's eight year presidents. You know what Carl, I mean? Yeah. Carl's not going to answer that question. Right. I have a feeling there's something to it that's a little yeah. tricky. Yeah. Okay. So we because need one more, you guys. Hmm. Who else? Who else? Who else? Kind of like I can name presidents back like before Wilson. They just don't stick in my mind. At one at one in the morning, I just don't think presidents. I can't well. even think which which one was Wilson. W um, Woodrow Wilson. He came from Woodrow. New Jersey. Good old Woodrow. Yeah, you put it. Yeah. Put Woodrow Wilson. What else do we have for a list now? Wilson, Cleveland, Adams, Washington, Eisenhower, Bush. I don't Reagan. like Adams or Washington. I don't like them either, but they're on the list Why? right now. Who did oh, you just my. add? Wilson was the last one I added. Okay, Woodrow Wilson. One of you mentioned Taft, but I don't think he did. I'm not sure he completed. I don't know if he was in a second term or not. I don't think he completed two terms. Without anything to replace Washington and Adams with, I'm just going to leave them on the list for now. Well, I'd rather have Thomas Jefferson than those two guys. Right? With Jefferson and those two, we now have 10. Oh, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have 11 on the list. Can you read them off to me real quick? I have Jefferson, Wilson. Wait, 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 wait. Jefferson, okay. Wilson, uh huh. Cleveland. Yep. Adams, Washington. Mm -hmm. Eisenhower, Bush, Reagan, Clinton, and Obama. Yeah, and I say get rid of Adams and Washington. Oh, I had Thomas Jefferson on the list twice. That's why I have 11. Okay. James okay, Madison. James Madison, Madison in, instead of Adams. And who would you like to replace Washington with? Boy, that's a tough one. It could we could leave him there. He's I I don't know. Well, he he makes a list of ten for us if we don't have any other option to put in there. James Monroe. Okay. Let's see how it works. Okay, let me look and see how we're doing here. There's there's some sort of a trick to this. It's going to be not just two terms. It's going to be because like Grant did two terms, but didn't he take over for Lincoln? So he did more than two terms, or maybe he was in there for seven and a half years. Is he calling it? Does it have to be exactly eight? You know what I mean? Yeah. And you know, like if if they would have reelected Johnson and. Um, after Kennedy, would that have counted? Because he started, well, no, he wasn't. That would have only been like five years. Right. This is, 
this is going to be again just like my kid is embarrassing me tonight because i mean ukraine i should have known all these things. i mean we discussed this stuff yeah like but you can, but sometimes it's not that important to remember it all well it's because, just you know what i mean the details like i say i mean i know presidents i know lots about presidents but to know ex uh, you know, some I of the details, are same as Ukraine. I, I mean, I know a lot about Ukraine and about the war things and stuff, but the name of the place, I don't know the name. It's something odd. I'm not good with, I'm not good with, with years. Years too. That. Years can be a problem with me too. Yeah. With what year did this happen? Plus, I get associated I with something. Yeah, I don't know. It's a good category. And this is the easy one. Yeah. I'm wondering what the trick is between two it's terms and eight years because there is a difference. It's definitely the easiest uh, of the four rounds that I co contemplated doing tonight. You've got me for a regular round two weeks from now, right? I have. I need somebody for a bonus next week. Oh, I, I know did, what I was going to mention. I've got every, I want to make sure everybody understands that on the 24th, Aaron, on the 24th, that's Thanksgiving. Is that all right? Yes. Okay. And I have Rob and Carl. Carl, that's Thanksgiving Day. Is that okay? I, I don't see a problem with that. Okay. So I just need to ask Rob and we need to put that in. But to, next week, I just need a bonus. I'm hesitant because I did three weeks in a row. It took a lot out of me. <laughs> Last week was brutal. I had to whip it up real quick. And I just went through Get my a little list. personal there. You did, you know you did I mean. a pretty good job coming up with one so quickly. I just went through everything on my list and tried to find the one that I thought, the ones that I thought were interesting. Yeah, it can be hard to do on the fly. Yeah, that's what it was. I was going frantically through break and then I was like, oh, I, don't, I have one more category. And, and I, so I was really not really there with my team on round four. Go ahead and bring us back, Carl. And I could do it again, but what I say is each time I do that, it gets progressively worse. <laughs> Well, it's easy for me. I just copy them off and paste them in the thing. Here's yeah, but I, I could rank. I've got 5,000 to choose from. What I should do is pick a random number, team one, and they pick a number. Then I go down my list and pick that one. And whatever it is, it is. That could you know, be could, very could, interesting. Could, so could do something you, like you that. Ever, Kevin, do you ever keep a list of like questions you contemplated using on a round but ended up not using? Yeah. There's I have one. one. I have, one, a lot of, I have a lot of leftover lists. I have a yeah, lot I of have leftovers one, that didn't I have quite one make that it I know everybody something. knows. Well, when does, when does Fahrenheit equal Celsius? Do you know, Susan? Negative 40. Oh, shh. She didn't know. Negative 40. But <laughs> I, have, I do have a, I have a whole spreadsheet of all that. I should get even more going forward since stuff. now we're limiting to just... I have no problems yeah. now. All right. Bye, team. Here we, here we go. Hmm. Uh. This was fun. All righty. And, and Caspian. And Caspian. What about me? I, I bet you had all 12. Some people <laughs> figured out the fact that uh, Inauguration Day may mm -hmm. have changed one or more times. Yeah. Inauguration Day changed twice, but the second time it changed isn't relevant because it was in the middle of uh, the presidency of someone who died in office and therefore didn't affect uh, their years. Uh -huh. Hang in there, Jane. <laughs> I'm tired today, oh. too. Oh, wow. I'm going to paste the whole list in or read them out one at a time first. Read, read them. them for drama. For drama. Right. Yeah, but so, you got to do it in a funny voice. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. <laughs> oh, the, do very first, the very first president to serve exactly eight years was Thomas Jefferson. George Washington only served seven years, 308 uh, days. The date of the inauguration was changed between his first and second. Oh, uh, Janine. Washington, he said, is gone? Washington we is didn't not on the list. Thomas Jefferson didn't pick it anyway, one. Susan. No, no actually, I know, I know, but I thought for sure. Go ahead. Can we Next, just read the list? Yes. Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, James Monroe, Andrew oh. Jackson, U.S. Grant. <laughs> wow. Uh, Presidents number 22 and 24, Grover Cleveland. Yes. Woodrow Wilson, Dwight David Eisenhower, Ronald Cowboy Reagan, <laughs> Bill, depends on what your definition word is, is Clinton, <laughs> George W. Bush, Bush the Younger, 
and Barack Obama. Oh, my team kicked out. <laughs> I can't believe it. I tell it. you. I can't I, believe I try, it. I, I, if you had listened to me, we would have lost several points. You guys we would have lost three points if we listened to you. You two Wait, lost. wait. What was that? We get that in the recording? If they would have listened to you, what would have happened, Susan? We would have lost three points if we listened to her. That record. never happens. Romero, you were right. And? <laughs> I was so sure Washington. Eight I years. thought Washington, too. Don't feed into his yeah. ego, Gail. Don't feed no, into he, his ego. He said he's, he had the exact right argument, too. And, and as always, the, the round is in the chat for anyone who cares to download it. Okay. So who do we not have on our list? I'm trying to figure out. Grant. We didn't have Grant. That's oh, we a didn't tough have one. Grant? I didn't, I didn't think that was true. Cleveland. And, and we Cleveland. didn't have Jackson. That's Jackson. right. Oh, Andrew and both Jackson. Of those, yeah. Both of those guys came after um, assassinations, didn't mm -hmm. they? No. No, they couldn't have because then if yeah. they had, nobody, they wouldn't nobody, have been eight, yeah. uh, two years. I mean, two terms. The, the right. only oh, way Jackson. you could come after an assassination and serve exactly eight years is if you yourself also got assassinated. Oh, <laughs> oh. On the day. I, Rick, hey, Rick I was assassinated. Out. I got better. It's it's all good. <laughs> Grant, Grant, came after Lincoln. Grant came after Lincoln, but it was, wasn't it Johnson? No, Johnson. Yeah, Johnson. 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 Yeah, that's, Johnson. That's, that's what I forgot. Well, that's, that's what I was going to say. Johnson was who replaced Lincoln, but then Grant was elected in the next. Uh, that's what that's maybe covering a future that. round here. <laughs> well, then pay attention. Remember, I said I had three or four rounds prepared for tonight. Yep. Oh, dear. This is the easiest. Okay. So Great. just before that's we go over to the true. scores, I just want to mention that I still need a bonus for next week. And the following week is November 24th. That's Thanksgiving. Oh. I've got three people on that. Aaron no, said it'd be that. okay. Carl no, said it'd know, be okay. I didn't know that. I can't play Not that Rob. Uh -oh. I can Rob's do it with Susan on Thanksgiving. Gail? Okay. Okay, you don't have to tell me now. I'm just letting you know that that's Thanksgiving. I've got three yeah, on there. I'll be, I'll be able to fill it. I'll be on Thanksgiving. Yeah, but Rob, next week, I need a bonus. I need to check with my family and see what's going on. Well, for Thanksgiving you can play. I'm just asking for people who want to be a category. Yeah, so I need you. on the tw on next week, do we have a volunteer for bonus? Tell me what bonus is again. What we just did. It's like a list, a list of things of instead of individual things. questions. Karen, did you just say you were? No, you're already doing one. That's right. Yeah. I'm looking at people who are waving their hands. Let me move this chat box out of the way here. Would it change uh, getting a volunteer if I did a bonus and someone else did a category? I have a category ready to go if nobody's willing. I have. There you go. I'm going mean, to put Karen as bonus. I'll, you okay, move me to next week for my, my category then. I'll do bonus. Okay. Thank you. And Caspian, you've got, okay. and so. So do you have next week all filled up now? So, uh, yeah. So, um, Carl, Thanksgiving's okay? Oh, yeah, I already knew that. Probably. Okay. So next week, I have Vincent, Mike Wolf, Peggy, Caspian, and bonus is Karen. Right? The following week on Thanksgiving, I have Aaron, Gail, and Carl. Okay, just checking. Got it. Okay, so let's do scores. Let me entertain you. Let me. Okay, it is really close, you guys. So yeah. hopefully it's not all tens. It won't be. Oh. Uh, it doesn't matter. Red wave. It let's doesn't go matter. Go down the list. I believe we got eight. Good. That makes sense. Somebody else on the team. Yep, eight. Okay. All right, broke ass twit of the year. Ten. Oh. Woo -hoo. That didn't last long. <laughs> Word. Well, we we had Caspian, so he just rattled them off like two seconds yeah. after we got into our <laughs> breakout room. So. I knew he would. And he even got the Washington thing right. Yeah, we <laughs> actually had Washington, and then like worked it out, and we're like, nope. So, good all job. right, good job, Caspian. I raised him right. 
<laughs> we, we we quizzed him every day on our presidential terms. Where, <laughs> where did Dr. Oz pretend to live next? Where will Dr. <laughs> Oz pretend to live next? Hi, Wayne. Nine. Nice. Hi. All right. Red divorce. Nine. Okay. It comes down to high school sweaty hearts. Ten. Yes. <laughs> oh. You did. That Ten. was close, you guys. Look at that. That's the way I like it. Just so you, like that. You guys, you guys knocked Washington off the list, huh? Yes, yes we, we did. did. Yeah. Oh, I, I missed that. Cool. Yeah. Madison and Monroe with the last minute ones. So that was that was an easier round because nine point two is pretty darn good. Yeah, I mean, but Susan wanted Washington. I says there's no yeah, Washington. Washington. Was president. <laughs> well, I wanted him because he had two terms, right? But you said Washington. There was no Washington. such person. But there's he had two terms, right? Not Washington. Nobody ever elected Washington. Washington had two terms, not Washington. <laughs> But he did have two terms, right? Who? Who did? Washington. No, he didn't. <laughs> and John Adams, didn't he have two terms? No, nope, the Adams boys were one-timers. <gasps> the Adams boys. Well, oh, about well, this time. I knew John Quincy, but boys. I didn't remember John Adams first. Damn. Alrighty, you all. I think I'm guys. I just got a ping from Wikipedia that the photo on Banachek's page was deleted by Commons de Linker. So if anybody, Carl, has a picture of Banachek. Carl. Needs to be added. Yeah. Carl. <laughs> he's got a list yeah. of them that he's, he's working like, on right now. Like which picture? The main picture? Hi, everyone. Yeah. There's, there's no night, photo. Everyone. Yes, the main Probably picture. Probably didn't show up. That is correct. Good night, everybody. Good night, Aaron. Thanks Great. for hanging out there, Aaron. That's a Ow. long night for you. Bye, everybody. I'm going to say goodnight because I'm Bye. tired. Yeah, I'm ready to fall asleep. Bye, all. Bye. Bye. Bye.